Hello and welcome to the One Stop Co-op Shop Stream, your one stop for co-op news, reviews, and playthroughs. I'm Peter, and tonight we're playing through Lord of the Rings, the card game. What's up, Terrence? Hey, not Friday. That doesn't, like, roll off the tongue as well as the Marvel Champions thing. It's Thursday Ring Day. It's Ring Day! Thursday Ring Day. I mean, I don't know. We could, we could do that for now. Uh, so yeah, we're playing some Lord of the Rings, and this looks a little different, because we are not playing on um, Tabletop Simulator. We are playing on a program called Dragon Cards, which Terrence is forcing me to play on. He said, you need to grow up and like learn to play on a real thing. Um, so we are... I, I wouldn't say it's real. I, I think it's just where most of the community is, uh, so I'm trying to force Peter to at least try to learn it, so I can get sucker him into other games online. Yeah, so as usual, I have no idea what's going on. Terrence made everything, although there's counters all over stuff. Terrence has set up a bunch of stuff. But uh, so tell us a little bit. We're doing the Angmar Awakened campaign, right? Which is the first of the re released campaigns. Um, is that true? Oh, man. Terrence, your audio is weird. Hold on, hold on. Um. This, this is driving me crazy. So, sorry everybody, I got a new computer and it just has not treated me well. So Terrence, if you don't mind, leave OBS and join again, and we'll see if that fixes it. It seems to have worked um, the other day. Thanks, man. Sorry everybody yeah. out there. Um, I, I do not know why this keeps happening, but it is really annoying. And I've tried to fix it, I've tried to mess with the audio settings, um, we will get this fixed. I will figure this out, but it just might not be, it, it clearly wasn't today. <laughs> today was not that day that I got it figured out. So I do apologize for that, but we, please keep letting us know if things mess up and, um, and I will, um, keep trying to fix them. So Terrence, say something and we'll let people let us know if it sounds good. Can you hear me now? It's like a Verizon commercial. Yes. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Uh, so hopefully we now. don't have any more issues with that. Um, so for now, we are going to assume you're back. All right. So you basically said we're leaving Rivendell, and I will go ahead and read the flavor text from then on. A ranger is leading us. Uh, the rangers have sighted a large group of orcs making its way toward Breland, the Duind Duindan. Uh, oh, gosh. These Lord of the Rings words. Uh Arion. I think this is not your forte here. Yes. Is reading the Duodon Arion, I think is his name, has asked you to help him intercept the war party before it can reach the quiet village. The orcs are day ahead of you and moving fast, but there is hope you can catch them with the ranger's tracking skill. Set up. Put Iriodon into play. Add one orc party uh, one orc war party to the staging area. Each player adds one different location to the staging area and then shuffle the encounter deck. So you've done all that setup. I see I have a character over here with an attachment on it. Uh, I'm assuming... Yes, yeah, so that's from the campaign. Is there a campaign card somewhere? Um, see you in a sec. Yeah, to the right. Much better, says Kate. Thank you, Kate. By the way, let's do some shout outs here. Um, we got Paul S. out there. We got Steve Kingsley, the king of co-op. We got Kate out there. Uh, and Michael Newsom as well. So thank you everybody for joining us. And uh, let's keep rolling. Um, okay, so we did this setup. So I moved, I moved this Which one? You, uh, you can't point to me. Card. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you. So the Intruders of Chetwood. You, uh, you're playing campaign mode. Set up. Attach their pendant to them uh, and the uh, protect the innocent side quest to the staging area. Starting with the first player, each player may place yep. four damage on pr uh, protect the innocent and add one resource of each of their heroes to each of their heroes resource pools, which we did not do. All right, Terrence. Oh, Terrence can't hear me anymore because I'm I've left. Did uh, I lose you, Peter? <laughs> but the audio is great. Okay, all right, we might have found something here. Uh, Terrence, don't quit. Don't quit. Just stay, please, buddy. 
Uh, I'm, I don't know if you guys can see me, like, joining here. Hold on. Hello, 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 hello. All right. Terrence, can you hear me, buddy? I can hear you now. What oh, wait, as soon as I joined, the echo came back. Okay. Oh, hold on. Maybe there's some kind of... This is really the stream where you help Peter troubleshoot OBS. All right, say something. You can't even hear me, can you? I can hear you now, yeah. I, can hear you. <gasps> I muted mine and it worked. Wait, what? Is that all it was? All right, can you say something? Hello? Test, test. Oh my God. Oh, is it because it was feeding your audio that you were hearing back? I guess. I, you wow. know what? That, nice, it, is, Peter. it is what it is. You know what? All right. That, I, yes. All right. I, this is clearly a user error issue. Um, but if if that was all it was, I'm good. All right. So your characters, have, uh, she has minus two to questing. Uh, Gilrian. Uh, yeah. And up to two other Duodene heroes get plus two. So that's what you're saying. Those two have plus yep. two. All right, yeah. so that's what those counters are. The counter up here says X is the number of quest cards in play, where uh, there's only one quest card in play. Shrouded Hills and, gains... And, and, and Protect the Innocent, so there's two. Right. So we got Protect the Innocent, and we got the main one, Stop the War Party. Yeah, yeah so All right. it's always one. Yeah. It's always at least one. Yeah. But here it's two. All right. Yeah. So we'll worry about where we have to travel in a minute. All right. You must move swiftly to prevent the orcs from reaching Breland. Enemies do not make uh, engagement checks forced. Oh, so they you you have to engage them if you want to fight them? Yeah. So it means you can only optional one enemy each turn. Got it. Uh, forced. At the end of the refresh phase, raise each player's threat by one for each enemy in the staging area. Ah, so they want you to fight them. Oh, my gosh. Six damage, three armor, six life. Um, if it's in the staging area, enemies in the staging area cannot take damage. Uh, the players yep. cannot win the game if the orc war party... In the orc war party from the end of... Actually, I think I just played against them in one of the campaigns recently. I mean, I'm sure it's reused. It's a pretty terrible card. Yeah, all right. So at the end of the refresh uh, phase, each yeah. player raises threat by one for each enemy. Players cannot defeat the stage unless the first player controls uh, Iarian, and the players defeat the stage. They win the game. Yep. All right. Uh, yeah. This so this is why I didn't build you the Rohan attack staging deck. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 Good call. Uh, so for my deck, you said there's a lot of Rohan in here because honestly, I like Rohan. Um, is this a decent starting hand, do you think? Uh, so click on your um, menu thing uh, next to your hand. Yep. And then click Make Visible. Ah, right. you, you couldn't have seen my hand then. Yeah, I think this is a decent starting hand. Uh, I mean, obviously you don't have Steward, so like that's kind of the trade-off there. Uh, steward is in this deck, so you don't have it in your opening hand, but... Uh, uh, but I do have the mark. horn. What does that do? It allows you to basically dr draw cards when allies lead play that match uh, Lethereal, and every ally you have in your deck is going to be Rohan or Gondor. No, I so. have two of those, um, which I obviously don't need two. Uh, I do have some characters, sure. but they're pretty expensive. Uh, and, oh, I have three different traits here, but all my cards are blue. So I'm thinking I actually mulligan this. Right? Oh, that's your call. It depends, like, will you be sad if you don't get horn on your mulligan? I, or do you really want to fish for something else? I think that's like... I mean, I, I, I want to fish so. for other colors. Because I literally have two heroes that can't do anything off the off the beginning of the game, right? Uh, well, Denethor can also donate a resource to a Gondor hero. Add two okay. resources to Denethor's resource pool and set up. Um, move one resource from Denethor's resource pool to another Gondorian hero once per round. Okay. All right. So adding resources is one, right? 
So he has two resources from the beginning of the game. Um, yeah. After Lorian commits to a quest, yeah. choose an ally in your hand. If that ally shares a trait with her, put the ally... Oh, so she can put an ally into play, um, but then they get discarded yeah, the at the end phase. of the round. No, Just, they get shuffled back in your deck. Oh, okay. Just a quest. And the horn, the benefit of the horn is if if you have it in play, I get to draw a card when they leave play. Is that yes. what... Okay. Yes, yeah, so the horn the horn with Lethereal is like the card draw, right? Got it. Um, so after a Rohan character leaves play, Aemur gets plus two attack until the end of the round. So he's going to be yep. my beat stick. Yeah, and but then it, Denethor you can stack with armor because he has three defense. And he doesn't have to quest. And do we have I mean, any armor? In the deck hand? you do. For one Rohan ally and add it to your hand, then shuffle the other cards back in your deck. I do have one or not. Yeah, you have Gondorian Shield, which gives him plus two because he's Gondor. Wait, where do you uh, see Gondorian Shields? No, I just mean you have in your deck, not your hand. Oh, okay. Because, yeah, I'd like to pull this work party in, block with him, hit with him. Um, yeah, I, like, you know, like we're probably going to take the threat on the war party for the first few turns. Yeah. Because we're not going to be set up, ideally, to deal with them. Or not ideally, like we were just not like unless you're able to like build up super quick, that's just not going to happen, right? So, um, that's just how that is. Uh, all right. So, uh, uh, Kate's saying, "Fair, Peter, but your mulligan may always be worse." Uh, that is very, very yep. true. Like uh, un- unlike Arkham Horror and uh, Marvel Champions, you don't get to pick the cards. Right. Um, you got to do the whole hand. So it is a, it's a, you're rolling your dice much more. And Michael says, not played uh, any Lord of the Rings, not much experience with deck construction. Yeah. I mean, I'm not much of a deck builder normally. Um, so yeah, this is all new to me. All right. Well, I guess I don't need that extra resource. Do you want your extra resource? Uh, I wouldn't hate it as a tri-sphere, and I don't have smoothing like you, but four is a lot, so... That's fine. We'll put four on. It's not a problem, because we're questing, right. right? So we'll just not quest main. We'll quest the Protect the Innocent the first turn. Well, I, I do I do have a side quest that I might put out um, as well. Wait, that you, may you have side quests? Oh, I see that. Yeah, you remember the time when I told you that uh, Thurindir was like the cable? Like, cable was based off Thurindir? Okay, well, I haven't played Cable yet, or seen Cable, so there's that. Because he hasn't come out oh, yet. Uh, player side schemes <laughs> are coming to Marvel Champions in August. Uh, oh, okay. Spoiler. Uh, and so this is this is player side quests, and I only actually have one in here because this deck, this encounter deck has a bunch of side quests, so I didn't feel like I needed a bunch more. Um, but this one allows us, when we finish it, it's only four. If we quest hard and go through it, we can go through in our our deck and add any card we want from our deck into our hand. Yeah, so then I could get my steward. Yeah, so you go grab steward. So All right. uh, I was hoping to put this out if we felt comfortable doing that, but I do. I do. Know. I think four on there is fine because we we have right. to tell ten to lose it, and we can just. I mean, both of our decks quest pretty hard. It looks like so. I think I'm okay with it. All right. So cool. I'm gonna look back at my hand. So all right. So step one is we get. So you got plus one resource on all your characters. I already have plus two on Denethor. Yep. And so to start, you're going to hit shift N, I believe. Did that work? Or... Did that work for you? Yep. So we get yep. one resource. Oh, and I've got uh, Guthwine. Oh, yeah, Guthwine's great. Uh, attached to a Rohan hero restricted. Uh, after Tatsuro is declared as an attacker, exhaust it to give that hero plus two to their attack. Uh, if the attack destroys an enemy, return a Rohan ally from your discard pile to your hand. Oh my goodness. I want to kill stuff. Yep. So I put that on yeah. Aemur. Yep. Uh, and what color is that? Purple? Yeah, so that's Oh, that's perfect. All right. So we'll go ahead and go through my phase of playing cards first. All right. So that's our resource phase. How do I skip down to planning phase? Or does oh, it not know. matter? It doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to move one resource. So I click on the bottom and click on the top. I, I moved one over to, what's her name? Um, Lethereal. Lethereal. 
And then yeah, I believe that's uh, Amr's wife. Actually, you know what? I don't need to do that now. So why don't I nope, leave it on the character that can move it freely at any point, right? Yep. All right, so I want to attach this sword. So I'm going to spend two resources from Denethor. How do I attach that sword to somebody? Do I just you just it? drag it uh, kind of next to him, and it'll automatically kind of attach. Yep. Nice. And okay. then uh, if you mouse over him, and then I believe it's six. Um, Oops. You can, yeah, six you probably want to be above. Six was you not You don't correct. want that minus six attack. <laughs> oh, that would be you want to have, plus attack. Yeah, you, yeah. You want to be on the top half, so you can add two. Uh, Is that just a reminder? Because we haven't exhausted it, and it's only for yeah. One you haven't exhausted. I, yeah, I, it's just a reminder for me, but yeah, it's not permanent. Uh, so it's up to you. Yep. And then yeah, so you exhaust it, and you do it, and then yeah, you I'm can, gonna add it to the side to the sword here, kind of. Yeah. All right. All right, and then I'm gonna and, add the horn of the mark to her. I already yep. spent her one resource. I'm going to attach it there. So there you go. And then I'm going to look at your hand while you decide what you're going to play. Probably not going to play a ton, even though I got those resources. Um, are you okay if I gather, put gather out? Yeah, go for it, man. All right. So gather information. So this is another side quest. So that actually adds one more to Shrouded Hills, unfortunately. But it also does buff um, Iron. Because we've now put another side quest, so I think they kind of like cancel each other out, at least. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna play this Steed of the North on a Marthiel. So Steed of the North is you have to attach a Dundane or Ranger hero, which uh, a Marthiel is, and then after I engage an enemy, I can exhaust it to ready the hero. Oh, okay. Um, so that will allow me to, you know, she she has a or he has a. He or she. Uh, Amarthiel has a three 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 stat line, which is pretty fantastic. So being able to use right. them more than once will be great, right? Yes. Um, why is it only ten? That is ridiculous. Why is what only ten? Ten threat. Oh, because she'll uh, she only quests for one. That's why. Yeah. yeah. Oh, could, but she's got uh, plus two because of uh, Gilrain. Gilrain. Yeah, yeah, I think that's Aragorn's mom. Oh, okay. Dramatically in the lore. Um, and then I'm actually going to spend two, even though that means I can't play Test the Well, um, to play Gift of Foresight here. Okay. Um, and so that gives her plus two. Least two defense. permanent. Attach gets plus if two If I don't defense. commit to the quest. Yeah, and she's questing for zero. But yeah. it says printed two, so she has printed two. Yep. The card. So she will get four defense. So she's your defender. I've got my defender over here. You have an attacker also because Armthil or can... defender depending. On... Well, right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. So that's all you're playing. Yep. All I right, think we'll, so. We'll look back at my cards because I just realized I need response after you play Westward Traveler from your hand. Switch the active location with any other location in the staging area. Yeah. So we can use that to cheekily get around. Um travel effects we may not want to go to well it also lets us like put in shrouded hills or something to get rid of its three threat right in the staging area uh there is no active you can't switch it oh yeah so you have to travel somewhere and then we can use it to swap with something else if we want to avoid the travel or something like that got it or the staging after effect, resolving right? a quest which escort from edoras was committed discard Eder. Her, uh, them from play but if i cheat her in with lethereal do they still leave discard from play yeah because the force, force effect still applies ah, I gotcha. um, but you know it still might be worth it because you have Guthwine potentially to get it back from your discard pile so i wouldn't be too sad about it uh gotcha. the other thing is if we really want to get gather we might want that extra willpower right so yeah no i mean i i think we should be able to get it all right so let's go ahead and do that all right, so... All right, so questing quest starting with you as first player. So I'm going to do Lethereal. So how do I add her to the quest? Q? Uh, hit Q. So she's committed and to the quest. So we could see up top here somewhere. So yeah, so you see that three see... above her. Oh, I don't know if people can see my cursor. That's a good question. People seeing my cursor? No. I don't see your cursor on YouTube. Yeah, see, that's the problem with this over... 
TTS. I can't like let you see where I'm looking. So at the top, we have five, minus five progress now because we're questing three. So staging, so it says round one at the top. Then next to it, it says staging yep. is eight. So that's how much threat is in the staging area now. But we have, because of that quest, added five. Now when I commit her, I can take some card from my hand, put it into play. So I'm going to put this escort in, and I'm going to quest with yeah. that. So yeah, and you're going to want to put the two? five, hit five at the top half. Ah, to add two more? Yep. Got it. So it's two more to the willpower of that one, uh, but it will be discarded at the end of the round. Now, what does this say? Uh, restricted when a character leaves play. If the character shares at least one trait with this hero, um, exhaust the horn to get rid of that character. And I don't think I'm going to quest with anybody else because they're only one. Quest with Iron. He's questing for four. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yep. All right, so now we're plus three already, but, of course, we're going to draw two cards at the beginning of the enemy phase. All right, and I'll quest for seven on top of that. Uh, And so at the top, you can also see uh, where the kind of the willpower sun-looking symbol next to our names is how much we're actually contributing individually. Ah, so I have 11 that I'm contributing. I have 26 threat. I was wondering where my threat was. So I have yeah. 26 threat, and you have 27, and you're contributing 7 right now. So we're plus yeah. 10 at this point. And that icon next to your name at the top is the first player icon. So when we switch rounds, it will go to me. So you, you'll be able to see who the first player is each time. Got it. Okay, so we're questing right now. How do we add the two random cards? All right, so hit E. So tab, again, if I wasn't playing with Terrence right now, I could hit tab to scroll down. And scroll up and E, reveal an encounter card. It's on the right side under game hotkeys. E is reveal an encounter card. So I'll reveal mine, which is doomed one. Does that mean my threat goes up one? Yep. So you hit U, uh, your threat goes up by one, or you can actually just mouse over and hit the up arrow. Yeah, I, I, uh, I hit U. Okay. Uh, while outlying homestead is in the staging area, players cannot reduce their threat. Uh, travel yep. will reveal a card from the encounter deck. Okay, so that was mine. So you go ahead and hit yours. Oh, another location. Wait, uh, didn't well, we have to decide bad. where we were going? Or we did decide where we were going. Yeah, we're, we're going to gather, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the downside is we do lose Iron. So does that mean they don't contribute to the quest anymore? That's correct. Well, that's pretty bad. Although we have exactly that, four progress. If yeah, so it's actually it's actually perfect for us in that respect because we still had enough to clear all right so while scouting ahead aaron is ambushed by several orcs the ranger is knocked unconscious and dragged away by the orcs you must rescue him oh although did it it didn't add one to this so actually we're one short the shrouded hills oh yeah we're one short actually that's terrible um hold on terrible could i have done the pendant you can do the pendant. Should we do? I think I feel like we should do that, right? Okay, sure. So, what does that mean? So, they don't go. He doesn't go on there. Yeah, the first player loses control face down when the stage is feed. The first player takes control of iron. So we don't lose it, but the the time counter thing still applies. So even if you don't put him under there, we have to discard uh, him. You still have to discard him. So how do we detach him? Uh, just click on it to click on uh, iron and just hit detach. I don't know what button that is. D? Just do left click on the iron card and oh. it'll be detached. Okay. And then detach the other one too. Okay. All right, I've done that. All right, so this goes to the victory display. I don't know where that is. Uh, uh, you hit V. So his stat line it. just goes down. Yep. Um, why is this whole set aside thing on the side here? What are all these cards? Sit. Oh, these? Those are from the campaign. Oh, okay. All right. So if we don't get rid of that in four turns, we're in trouble. Yeah. But we still get his questing now. Actually, that number didn't go back up for some reason. So I'm going to uncommit him uh, to the quest. Yeah, because you have to hit Q on him again. I'm trying. Q's not working. Oh. A? Q? There we go. All right. Still, oh, it shows you committing. Yeah. Well, either way, it shows 10. 
So we have six progress. I don't know why it shows you doing it now, but it's fine. Uh, because I press the buttons, I guess. Uh, it's fine. So we, we make over. And so this goes to the victory display. So you hit V on gather. All right. So for those who don't understand, we, we, the staging area had 11 threat in it. Um, threat is on the upper left of these cards there. That's two threat for outlying homestead, that thing next to that little crown there. So between all these places, there's that much threat. This one is X where it's the number of locations. So we have the main quest we have, and these three side quests. So there's four total quests here, which is why this one is up to four, contributing four threat to the area. I committed to the quest with three from Lethereal, four more from the escort, and then three more here. So that should say 10. Mine only says seven. Uh, you'll see Terrence has said, said 10 though, even though he's only committed seven points of characters. He committed uh, Amethyl. I recommitted here. Iron. What was that? I recommitted your Iron for you. So I got credit for it. Yes. Yeah. So bottom line is you would have done seven. I would have done 10. Um, and on, there we on have. 11. Yeah. 17 to on 11. Right. Uh, yeah. So 17 on 11. We beat it by six. So it would normally go to a location first if we were traveled at a location, but we aren't traveled at a location. So it all goes to the quest. We decided to put it on the gather information quest over here that I'm holding over. So uh, if you notice on the left side of this card, there's a little four there. And so for this card, we needed to have four progress. We put six on it. So we defeated this. So this goes to the victory space. Um, Set I'm not showing the highlighted cards and stuff. So am I, do you guys not see these cards get bigger when I highlight over it? Huh. I do on mine, is it not on OBS? I don't see it on OBS. Or I don't see it on the YouTube feed. Like I'm highlighted over gathering information now and it's not I guess because it pops out to a different window. Oh, is it because you're only sharing a single window or something? Yeah. I, I mean, I get, well, it's not a different window. It's like an overlay. All right. This is, all right. We're not, sorry, everybody. We're going to go back to TTS for the future. Sorry, Terrence. You, you bullied me into playing on this, but it's just not user-friendly. I can't click on stuff to show people it doesn't highlight so people can't see the cards pop yeah, out yeah i think usually when i see people do this they share their screen so they just see everything and so people see the mouse and they see everything and not just the pop out window okay let me i can try to change that but i don't know if you want to change that today right, i just on. have seen every, people do it every, but, everything's uh... going well terrence what what could what could possibly go wrong uh, everything so let's try window capture instead well the good news is it's like wider now and not as tall let me put it in the background sorry we're trying all right, I'm going to delete this. Learning experience for everyone. It is. All right. Uh, I said all right as if everybody could see what I'm doing, but I'm doing it in a, like... Hidden window in the back. Hidden window. That's all fine. right. So now, all right, we're transitioned here. Let's see. Can I see my mouse? I still can't see my mouse. Let's see if I can see the highlighted stuff that I'm highlighting. Uh, so Terrence says there's card table. I'm highlighting this gather information quest. Oh, I see my mouse. I see gather information. Okay. All right. We figured yeah, it out. Yeah, I see, I see everything now. Okay. Uh, on the YouTube, it's a little delayed, but I see it. Yeah. Yes. All right. Thank you, Kate. I appreciate that. Well, now, now we've got it. All right. Good. This, this probably makes it a lot easier. <laughs> I guess for everyone oh my gosh. On. Yeah. So, all right. This is. Uh, man, they're, everyone's so nice. They didn't even yell at you. They're just like, I have no idea what Peter's talking about. This yeah, no, I'm like trying to highlight stuff. I'm pointing to stuff. All right. Well, that's good that we can see my mouse. Actually, I should probably change my mouse to something more 
Um, interesting. All right, so gathering information is gone is the bottom line. Uh, so yeah, you'll see that four in the left of the card there. Uh, we uh, put six progress on it, so we're gonna send this to the victory display. I just hit yeah. So the nice thing there for me is that every time we put a side quest, mine or the encounter deck one. So when we clear uh, rescue Aaron, uh, Thurindir's willpower will go up by one each time. Like permanently. Yeah. Thurindir so gets plus one for box. each side quest in the victory display. Search your deck. Yeah. Uh, oh, is that how you set up? Yeah, that's how I got it. The card. Got it. Nice. That is sweet. So now right. that we've so now that we've cleared gather, we both can browse our deck. So uh, if you to so the left of the deck, peak. there's the burger menu. You don't have to peek. You just go to browse. Just click your thing browse. and browse. Yeah. Uh, turn them face and up. And then yeah, and then turn everything face up. And then if you're looking specific for steward, you can create attachments. No, no kind of uh, limit your attachments and then you can just plop the one that you want out of your deck okay that all worked terrence just, i feel yep. like so how do i turn them back face down oh none of them oh you, you just uh just hit shuffle when it says close and shuffle, shuffle close and shuffle look at that yeah all right kate says uh tb to be fair I can recognize and remember a lot of cards just based on blurry art. Picture. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. But not, I mean, honestly, I don't know any of these cards. So for me, it is, uh, this is all new. Um, and so, yeah, th this is good. All right. Um, I didn't play this, but here's the card I picked, Peter. Uh, okay. Galleon. Well, so I think this is kind of a fun card. The victory display, Redium at the beginning of the combat phase. Oh, you are all about killing stuff too. Uh, well, so the fun thing about this is I don't know if you can recognize uh, the picture in here, but this is Caleb Grace's five-year art. Oh, so nice. when you're an employee of FG for five years, you get to put your likeness in a game for Fantasy Flight. And, you know, he was working on Lord of the Rings uh, at the time and one of his favorite, you know, IPs. So uh, this is his card. Oh, he becomes a hero when we do three quests? Yep. So then he gets resources? Is that how that works? Yep. And then he gets all the spheres of every kind of side quest kind of in there. But I actually don't, I don't even think I brought a colored one. So he'll just be neutral. But, you know, he can pay for Gandalf. So that's good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with paying for Gandalf. All right. So that's in your hand. So what do I do? Yeah. I discard Escort from Edoras now because we're at the end of the yep. questing so you phase. Put, you put him in the discard pile. And so then just... you can exhaust uh, Horn of the Mark with the A key. Um, and then draw a card. hit D to just draw a card. Yep. Yay! Oh, I got Morrowind Steel Sheen. Sheen. Yep. Uh, all right. Seems good. I mean, seems expensive anyway. <laughs> Put her into play. Yeah, but you, you can discard someone, right, for it. So Discard That's a fine. Rohan or Ga Gondor ally you control. Wait. Actually, like, you don't actually have lore, so you can't pay for it. <laughs> So you're gonna cheat her in. That's that's the point. So wait. So as an action. So how do I cheat her in after Gondor? So ally leaves. So play. one of the cheeky things you can do is like you can put an ally in. For Lothiriel. Um, not not a uh, escort because he gets discarded at the when you resolve the quest. Right. But before the end of the phase, you have to shuffle. So before that, you can actually discard that ally to then put more wind. So Action. You discard Put instead Morrowind of shuffle. Steel into play from your hand, then discard a Rohan or Gondor ally in an oh as any action at any point. I can cheat. Oh, yeah. So so after free. the quest resolves, there's an action window. You can then cheat them in by discarding that ally. I mean that seems real good. Yeah, real good. Okay, so we are done with the questing phase. Now travel phase. Do we want to travel to this Shrouded Hills? Oh, Shrouded Hills is back down to three. If you want to. I could do that. Uh, I do. I mean, I'm taking a three threat off of the, the quest seems good. Yeah. I mean, or either the, that or we could do the borders of Breland. It just seems worse. I mean, I'm not lowering my threat anytime soon, so I'm fine with it. All right. All right. So how do we quest? So, or how do we so just there? mouse over it and then hit A. Makes it active. So move it there to the left. Wait, wasn't A how I tapped a card also? 
Yeah. Okay, so A is like activate a card. Got it. All right. So that's the questing phase or the travel phase. Now encounter phase. I don't think either of us want to optionally engage this war, uh, war party. So nope. we are going to, skipping through right past combat to the refresh phase. Um, so how do we refresh? Uh, I believe that's the same shift N. Shift N again? It readied everything up. I saw it add one threat, but we have to add a second one, right? Did it automatically do that? Uh, no. So we just mouse so up. We're just going to have to... Yep. And yeah, so one of the things I like about this is in the bottom right where that chat thing is, you can kind of see the log of everything that's going on. So you can be like, you know, this happens all the time when we play. It's like, oh, did we do that thing? Uh, it'll say in the bottom right all the things we're Got doing. it. Cool. All right, uh, so in the first player token, the... move to you, and now I can point to it, which seems great. Yep. Yeah. Cool. So I'm first player. Uh, we just did a resource phase automatically as well as part of that shift end. Yep. So we're on to planning. After so you play with me... West Road Traveler from your hand, switch the active location. Oh, so we can switch locations if we want as well. Yeah. So like, for instance, if you we wanted to, like if we traveled to Borders of Brilliant or something, or like the one we have, you could play it to swap it with Outlying Homestead so we could go there without basically paying the reveal, the travel cost of having to reveal a card. Which seems good, by the way. Yeah. Like if yeah. we way over a quest this time, which I don't know how we would, but like that would be a good I mean, it's, it, 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 it still might be worth it. You get a two willpower ally out and play, and we don't have to pay. But the downside is like it has, and it's like a large amount of threat or uh, quest quest to get by that's why i was saying we have to put a lot in um um so that's gonna stall us a good amount um and it it only adds one extra threat to the threat area too yeah assuming not more of them comes out but i assume we actually want to clear rescue probably this turn um Um, oh because this timer how do we get rid of the or take the timer down oh uh it's four if you go to the bottom half and hit four Okay. And again, yeah. if you hold tab, you can do all of this stuff. Um, you can see it. Uh, I don't know if it actually showed you the tab that time. So hopefully it did. Uh, it should. It should now that you're doing the whole thing. Yeah. We're so delayed. Uh, okay. Well, let's just keep moving along. Move on. All right. Move so on. I oh, spent two of my leadership to play uh, Heir of Valendil. Okay. Attached to a Dundain hero, uh, which is any of mine. Um, and then basically, I can exhaust this, reduce the cost of an ally. I play this phase by one for each enemy engaged with me. Actually, I don't know if that's like super important right now because I don't have any allies engaged with me. Correct. And you won't. Uh, probably. <laughs> None of us have ranged is part of the problem. Like, AMR range would be amazing. One, two... Three, four. Do I just do that? I think I do want to get um, Thalion in because we really have a side quest in the victory display. So he's going to ready every combat phase now. Yeah, no, seems great. Um, and I think that's it. Uh, wait, no, I have Legacy Blade. How important is that for Aomer? Or should I keep it for myself? I mean, if you give it to Aomer... Can he kill that stupid war party? Um, he would need nine total right now. Yeah, I, I almost don't want to give to Aimer because you're going to want to get your f- horse for him, right? That would be getting him to nine, though, right? Yeah, the, the downside is mostly your horse gives you plus two attack automatically. Once you get it. So you'll get up to nine once you get your horse. Got it. Uh, and then having the horse also means that you can. Uh, it has actually this like kind of trample thing where like if you overkill something, you get to do the excess damage as direct damage to another enemy engaged with you. It, but we only can engage one enemy a turn and I should be slaughtering them every turn. So I don't yeah. know that that's important. All right, so you don't want th- you don't want your horse. You just want the the blade. I mean, I think so. 
But here's the thing. I can't engage it unless I'm willing to sacrifice Morrowind Steel Sheen. Which might be worth it, right? Sacrifice her to d block? Does that make sense? Uh, I mean, you could just sacrifice the Westworld Traveler. <laughs> you know, like, I feel like there are, there are worse, like, you have lamer allies in your Oh, you're hand. saying I should pay to put the Traveler in? Well, you don't have an... Oh, you could. You can move the resource over. Yeah, yeah. so I'm going gon to steward a Gondor for two. I'm going to attach that here. Exhaust it to get those two right back. And then I'll spend one or send one over here. So she's got two. So she'll spend those two to put the Traveler in. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, then I'm going to put, oh, so should we switch locations? That's up to you. I'm going to put the other traveler in. Yeah, you have another traveler, so you can always do it later. Well, I'm going to do it right now. One more questing, I'm going to put her in. And then I think we probably should change locations, right? Well, I don't know. I, I feel like we should clear rescue first before swapping it. Okay. It's only two threat. Like it doesn't but, do but anything. But I won't have right? any more travelers. That's the problem. Well, you can put um, Thadwin in instead. Instead of the traveler. But then that's With losing your own character. That's sad. Uh, yeah, but you want her enter play effect. It allows you to draw a card. Thadwin... You, you want to cycle her. You don't want to play her because she has an enter play effect. Ah. Uh, uh, now, but I'd have to discard her. Discard no, she gets shuffled in your deck. Oh, yeah, if you do more Wayne, you do. But it depends if you want more Wayne. I was thinking I'd get more Wayne. You have three copies of Thade Dwayne in your deck, so it's not the end of the world if you discard her either. I mean, yeah, my whole thought process was I get, I get more Wayne this turn, and that way I have her for the rest of the game. Uh, West Road to swap, you have to play from hand, so you can't do Lothariel's cheekiness to do it for what it's worth. Ah, got it. All right, so let's switch the location then. Or, or or am I holding the other? Just traveler? hold the other one. It's okay. fine. You also have a muster, so you can like pull any Rohan alley you want out of the top 10 and put in your hand for yeah. one spirit. So, Well, I already transferred one this turn, so I can't. And Aomer just has nothing to do with it. Well, that. I just mean generally. Like on another turn, if you need to grab yeah. an ally, you have that to kind of fetch it, right? Yep. All right. I think I'm good. Uh, Wait, so am I playing Legacy Blade on you? Do we Before... want to kill this war party? I think we do. Let's do it. All right. So that's actually just a permanent plus one. Oh, it's only plus one. Well, unless we clear, unless we clear a rescue, it's only it's one first sight quest, right? And we've only cleared one. It only it goes up to three, so it's like. Well, then I can't kill the war party anyway. So why don't you hold off All this right. turn? All right. Yeah, because I, I mean, I, West Road's I, still great because it's two a permanent two willpower on deck, right? So, yeah, yeah, maybe I get my sword in the next couple of draws because mustering. Oh, I can only get allies with that, but that's fine. All right, so go ahead and commit to the quest. So you have eight points, ten points, uh, and then this is yours also now, Iarian, right? Yes. Hey, I said and it right. I, and he is he he's at three. Yeah. One, two, three. So you've committed thirteen points to the quest. I'm gonna commit. So Q commits it, right? Yep. So that's three. When I do that, I'm gonna bring in Theoween and commit her to the quest. Response after yep. she so enters. Do you, do you play. want the card draw or the resource? I think the card draw, right? I mean you got steward, right? Like <laughs> What do you need resources for? Yep. Oh, and I got his horse. Armored. Well well that's for that's for Denethor, so it allows you to block more than once. Okay. So I got another I got another horse. Um, all right, so I'm committed two more to the quest. So right now we're eleven over. That's why I was saying we probably could have changed it. It's fine. It would have only been three more that we needed. It, I mean it is it's six it's six to clear this side quest. So you're saying like it... I see oh, are you committing? Saying. I'm committing, you're committing more. Westroad. Yeah, you're committing Westroad. Committing right? Westroad. Yeah. And I guess 
Oh, yeah, it's six, but so, like, I don't even think we'll clear it, because, like, it's, we gotta get five through the active right now. Yeah, five plus six more. Yeah. I guess it's that's 11, what... so... Um... I mean, it, it's fine. We don't have to clear it this turn, but, like, I'm just saying, like, like these are big numbers, right? Like, I mean, I could I, add one more, right? I don't know. If it's, it's not worth it. it. Yeah. It's not worth it. I mean, to, to take right. away my defense, basically, in case I, yeah, something bad it. happens. Um, okay. So that's committing to the quest. So you hit D to draw a card. That adds yep. two more if the current quest right. is a side quest. Country. No, it's actually four more. Four. Yep. Because we're going to side quest. And then, I, oops, I hit D. That wasn't right. Uh, then I'll shuffle my deck. Just move it to top of deck. I shuffled it. Okay. Um, so how do I draw one of the bad cards? E. The e. the number up, or the letter up above D. Okay, so three more. Uh, one player chooses and engages an enemy in the staging area when you travel there. That's uh, that not... sounds terrible. Does it? Uh, it sounds terrible with that being the only enemy right now. Well, and I can't kill it is the problem because I don't have my horse or or a good sword. Yeah, and, and it yeah. will kill Denethor. Yeah. Well, no, no. Anyways. Theowin's going away. So what do I do? Because I'm doing the... Well, wait, so... well, we got to resolve the quest first. Oh, okay. Uh, so we have, we're on six, so we get five on here. Ah, six so progress, I see that. So hit X on the active location. So that discards it? Discard. Yep. And then hit two over rescue iron to put the one progress. Yeah, that's terrible. Over. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think we, we, we need to like probably do it a few times. Um, all right. So where do you want to travel? Well, hold on. Uh, rugged country. Well, well, before the quest phase ends, I got. Oh, wait, before travel. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna yeah, put. So more if you discard in, her, and I'm gonna discard her. Yeah. Because uh, yep. she has action. So there is an action window at the end of questing here. Right before the end of the quest phase. Yeah. Um, that I can put in Morrowind. Um, yeah. So now I got. All right, and then to... you you and then you can exhaust your horn on the mark to now draw a card. Yes. So A, exhausts it. D, draws me a card. I was going to draw that card yeah. anyway. I guess I didn't have to. Ooh, Warden of Helm's Deep. Sentinel, so I could block for you. Yep. Zero questing, three defense. He still can't I block mean, three that. Three defense plus Sentinel seems great. He can't, still can't block that orc war party, though. I mean, you can jump with it, though. Right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, and that means Morrowind can go on the quest. So we're getting more and more allies to help us out with this quest, which seems good. All right. All right. So, so now we're in travel. Yep. And as first player, what do you think about Rugged Country? Which one's that? Do, 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 the one that's four if you go to the side quest. Yeah, that seems real bad. Uh, um, and so there's there only three to get by. So, yeah. Yeah. Yep. I agree. Okay. All right. So now we are to no encounter, no combat. So we nope. refresh, and then we go up the next so we hit threat. D no. shift shift N shift N. Oh, I got a sword. And then you hit U. Gwyneth. Wait, I can't have two Gwyneth. Ah, it's a dead card. No, you right? can't have two Guth ones. Yeah. So what's you do? Uh, increase your threat by one because there's the Orc War Party. Yes. All right, and then we have to tick this timer down. Hold on, I'll hit tab to show me that it's a four. Uh, yep. So we have two more turns to get rid of that garbage. All right, so we're back to our... So I'm first player. You gave me the character. So what's this horse do? Uh, well, let's start by exhausting the steward, which is A, to add two more resources. Seems good. Oh, uh, so I got mustering. You probably want to muster, right, to grab something. Okay, so I spend one over here to muster, and that goes to my discard. So then I hit that little three things over here. I browse. Yeah, you could look at up, there, top. There's 10. a thing where you could do top ten instead. And then I, yep, I did, and then I did allies only. All right, so yep. I have Westward Road Traveler. I have a Westfold Lancer. 
which I can pay oh, that seems for. Good. Yeah, because you can actually just. Well, you don't. You don't even have to pay for it. You can sneak it in with Ethereum. He'll quest for two. If we quest successfully, you can then just drop two damage on the Orc War Party. So he'll be four health and then three defense. So that puts him at seven. But I, I, why would I cheat him in? I have the three resources. Why would you? Why would you not cheat him in? Well, because I could cheat somebody else in and put him in, right? But who are you cheating in? Unless you don't want the the swappy swap. Uh, Helms. Because you you, you Warden, I, I feel like why pay the resources if you don't have to? I don't know because I like him. I want him to stay. He seems good. But you look. Oh, are you not going to discard him for the effect? After quest success. Oh, you have to discard. Yeah. yeah. Ah, I got you. All right, so I'll take him into hand. I see now. So if I just hit shuffle, it'll... Okay, cool. Yep. All right, done and done. Yeah, so, you know, like the, the benefit said, of if you paid the same for thing. Him. Why would you pay for things you could cheat? Because I like paying yeah. for things. I have all these resources. I haven't seen Gandalf, by the way. Hopefully he's uh, somewhere. I don't, he... I don't even know if I have him in this deck. There's just not enough slots, man. Uh, I'd have to take stuff out, and I think you just want more Rohan allies to increase your chance of Ethereal, so. Gotcha. Um, All right, uh, so should I pay for this horse? Armored, whatever. What does it Destrier? do? Attached to that hero, restricted. After attached hero defends against an attack, exhaust the armored to ready the attached hero, then discard the shadow card from another enemy engaged with a defending player. I, I think if you want to chomp... With someone, maybe you put the warden in instead of putting the horse in this turn. Yeah, because you get two defenses that way. You get both Denethor and the warden, but you can also kill the warden off without feeling bad. If you lost Denethor, you feel. Oh, because really if I'm engaging this turn, I see what you're saying. So I spend three resources to get the warden in, and now I have a chumper for this turn. Got it. All right. Yeah. So are you, you do done? have you, you do have another set of rows, by the way, to put cards in, like two more. Oh, below Maybe. them. Just FYI. You, you're trying to yeah. say I'm, I'm in your space over here, Terrence? Yeah, Don't. you're kind of encroaching into my space here. <laughs> Did you say encroaching? Yeah, encroaching. Encroaching. Uh, I don't Is that know what you're saying. What, what's going on here, Terrence? All right, I'm gonna look. I think at I might just. I think I might just like to see Blade myself at this point because. If you damage him, you have enough to kill him, right? So, That's a big if, but yes. And if I don't, I'm not engaging him, I guess. So there you go. <laughs> right? Well, I mean, you you still have... Uh, yeah. Because you, you... Yeah. If you don't do it, we're not going to kill him, right? So you're just not going to engage him. So Kate says... I mean, Terrence, there's technically no maximum deck size. So Terrence... This is this is another person for you don't always have to go for the minimum. You only get three copies of any card. How I mean, you want to maximize your chance of drawing into Horn the Mark and Stewart, right? So Open right. the opening part of the game is the hardest. Uh I think that's all I'm gonna play. And so I only get the plus one attack. Got it. Alright. So questing time. I'm yep. gonna quest What's her name by hitting Q? Ethereal. And then Westroad Traveler and Morrowin and Irian and Warden is not going to. Nobody else is going to, but I am going to cheat in. Wait, where is that card? Where is that three cost uh, card? In your hand. Oh, I'm you looking look at your at hand. Your hand. Yeah. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Cheating in uh, Westfield Lancer after the Lancer quest successfully, discard it to choose a non-unique enemy in the staging area to deal two damage to. All right, so that means only quest successfully. That doesn't mean get rid of the location. It just means have even yeah, one yeah, progress. Yeah. One progress. Right. You don't have to yep. get rid of anything. Nope. Uh, I assume as the first player, you're picking Rescue Iron as the quest we're going to. Yeah, well, let's keep doing it because we don't want to lose Iron forever because isn't that an auto lo loss condition? That's a lot of loss condition. Well, that seems bad. So let's not do that. We're only plus 12 right now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 
Do I uh, do I put Denethor in? I mean, it's no, only one more, I don't think but so. it's it's only one more. I think I think we'll be okay. We still have one more whole turn, right? So, all right, we do have a chumper. Oh, I have. Oh, that's another Gwyneth or whatever. So I oh yeah, if you really want to go with Denethor, right you can. Huh? If you want to go with Denethor, you can. I mean, I just have it's a random up. extra chumper. Right. Sure. I mean, it's only one more, but it is one more. Let's do it. All right. All right. So, um, I hit D to draw a bad card? No. E. 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 E for encounter. Ah, encounter. That's a good way to think about it. All right. And you're committed to the quest all you're committing? Yeah. You can hit my... Oh. Uh... This seems bad. The total questing of all characters committed to the quest is greater than the total in the staging area each enemy in the staging area makes an immediate attack against the first player yep i'm the first player all right well thankfully yep. i have the sentinel so he's leaving play right yep so i drew it a shadow card so you exhaust it to defend oh no no he's still there he's still there okay how do you look at the shadow card flip f uh do i do my ability i think i do limit once per phase i will look at the shadow and then i can deal an additional one if i want wait why would you deal him an additional one uh just to get galarian's ability i can choose to do that if i want why would you ever want to add another one because <laughs> i can draw a card because we know your dude's gonna die right like yeah then go for it there's no overkill, I mean, hopefully right? There's no overkill. And, and we discard another Orc War Party, so that feels good. <laughs> yep, and you get to draw a card. Now, a card I gotta do it. this garbage, though. Defending player discards one attachment he controls for each quest card in play. That's terrible, right? Well, good thing, but that's why you have dupes in your hand that you don't feel bad about now. Alright, so there's three quest cards in play, so I gotta get rid of three attachments. Uh, well, yeah, so you do lose Steward. So one's sad. gonna be the mark. Oops, hit draw. I don't. I didn't see what that was. Uh, how do I detach it? Oh, left. You just on it. mouse over it and X if you just want to All right, exit. All right. So that gets discarded. I lose steward. This is terrible. Yeah, you only have three. Yeah. And I lose my sword. Now I have an extra sword, and I have an yep. extra um, horn. Horn in my hands. But that's. Oh, I don't have the horn now though. To get the draw right now no. get the draw which seems terrible okay um if no attack was made this way search for the orc war party which would have been terrible this effect cannot be All canceled right. so i hit x yep so good news uh well you, we, you gotta kill off your warden he's now dead okay and, um and then since uh an attack damages a character, we have to place one on Yes. Protect the innocent. Oops. That's a three. Yeah. Well, one, two, uh, and, and three are easy. Like you know so that's gonna be that... either a resource, a quest, or a, a damage. So I know it's one of the three. That okay. that was your card. Yep. So hold on. Do we hit X to get rid of these uh attached cards? Uh, you can hit, uh, sh I believe it's sh shift X. We'll discard all the shadow cards. Yep. Okay. Ah, all we right. got another quest. So, yep. So, or uh, spring upon you from their hiding place. Their surprise attacks put you on defense. You must fight to gain the upper hand. Each orc enemy gets plus one to everything. Uh, each player must search the encounter deck. Well, I can't kill it anymore. And discard pile for an orc enemy and put it into play. Engage with him. This seems yeah. terrible. Yeah, this was the like maybe you shouldn't have quest with Denethor thing moment. Is what you're feeling right now. For that one extra quest. Yeah. Uh, uh, Kate says that's still so bad. Yeah. No, this is this is terrible. Things just happened. Uh, just FYI. Um, how happy would you feel if I canceled the one one reveal effect of this card right now? I would be very happy.
right? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you like to play with Steve, who doesn't believe in test wills. Now, the, the only thing you're canceling is the plus two. Uh, no, the thing I'm canceling is getting, involved, yes. Which would be us basically getting our butts kicked, because you don't really have... No, I, I could deal with my orc. Fine. Uh, it's you who would be screwed, because you don't have a defender. I mean, I could defend with Aemer, right? Like, is there worse cards? I'm sure there's worse cards. I mean, there might be worse cards. You want me to save it? I mean, because next turn, Denethor will be able to um, defend for me, and I could just kill it next is turn. Is character just friendly? Or does that also include enemies? What do you mean? Yeah, it has to just be friendly. So I'm just wondering if we damage an enemy, it doesn't count for protect the innocent, because that wouldn't make sense thematically. Oh, but it's gonna. we're going to put damage on here. Because we're going to be damaging characters, probably. So, yeah, that would be two more damage on Protect the Innocent. Well, I, I will I will probably... We get to search. And the orcs get plus shielding and plus damage. Yeah, that seems terrible. We got to get rid of that garbage. Well, yeah, we got to get rid of it. But, um... Uh, well, actually, I Iron readies. Because we just revealed an encounter card. So you have a defender. Wait, why is he ready? Because we just revealed an encounter card. That's his response. Wait, who is? The oh. the ally. He gets. He so gets how started. do I how do I ready him? Isn't it like Shift Q? Commit him to the quest, but he's just hit A. Just hit A. Just hit A. Oh okay. Because he's still committed to the quest. All right. Yes, uh, we're still the quest phase. So yeah. does that change your calculus? Like, do you want? Because uh, Amor is still hitting for five, right? Because you definitely lost. Oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. character so you to it. And we're about to lose the Westfold Lancer as well, by the way. Sure. Yeah, but he has to hit the staging. We have to engage these people. Yeah, let's go ahead and take him. All right. I'll pick the puniest people. I don't know if you can kill this guy, actually. I mean, he's six. Seven. Those are the punies? Yeah. They only hit for three, which you can defend. I mean... The, the, the benefit here is it's put into play, so you don't do the run revealed. So I just saved us if these guys came out that you just have to dump an ally for me. Yeah. So that's like the big benefit, actually. You get to pull them out. All right. So next time, Arian can help us kill him, because I'll not block with or quest with Denethir. I mean, we do get thirteen progress, so it's three plus six. I mean, we way overbeat it. So, yeah, I didn't need to quest with Denethir. That was a mistake. Lesson learned. I figured yep. I had plenty of defense, but apparently not. Okay. Yeah, you just, you just don't know what the encounter deck's going to throw at you to some degree. I mean, I know what the encounter deck can throw at you because I played and looked off the cards, but... And this is, like, the easiest quest in this cycle. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is crazy. All right, so uh, what are we doing? Right. Well, that that this is the quest phase, right? So, so now we get we're 13. Still, we're still playing. So this is so gone. Now we get 13 progress. Yeah, so that's gone. And this is gone. We clear this, so hit V. Oh, yeah, that one goes to victory. Uh, I do get another quest. So I'm questing for six with Thurndir now, which is fantastic. And this one leaves play. Oh, no, uh, no. I get to deal two damage. Yeah, you can hit two, not to that guy. You can do two damage to someone in staging, which is only the Orc War Party. I mean, that seems good still. Yeah, I mean, it goes to three defense. Feels great. Uh, he doesn't go to three defense. He's at four defense right now. But, yeah, everyone is plus one defense. But yeah. All right. Well, every work. Yeah. And plus uh, one attack. travel. All right. Do we want to travel to any of these places? Uh, Borders of Brainland seems good. At the beginning of the quest phase, return an enemy, engage with the player to the staging area. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Right? So that's why we want to travel there. So, and you can potentially swap it if you want. 
Yep. Okay. Um, and then we All need right. to get rid of Orc Ambush, I assume, is the next goal for yep. us. Yep. Uh, protect the innocent's uh, bad, but it's not. We're not we're not losing yet. So Yeah. Okay. Uh so then shift S will give us all encounter cards. You mean uh, shadow cards. Or, or shadow cards. Uh, so starting with you, you are first player. So I'm going to defend. So I defend for three against their attack for three. And, oh, we just lost a location, which seems good. Uh, so nothing. Or a, a side quest. Or a side quest, whatever. All right. And I'll do my defense. Uh, this is what a. I'll do her look at one. Defending player either exhausts a hero he controls or returns attacking enemy to the staging area after this attack. Uh, I guess I just won't kill him and that's okay. What cards do I have? So are you going to defend against it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing my action before I'm choosing. Um, so what are we looking at I'll, in your hand? What are you thinking about? I, I think I'm just trying to decide if I want to draw more cards, and I think I do. All right, so I'm going to defend with her. Hopefully it's not bad. That is bad. <coughs> that's very bad. That's a six. Three quests that's in play. Four. So that's two damage. Seems bad. So wait, attacking for three plus three more is six? Yeah, against my four. You have four defense? Yep. Because of what? Oh, right. Uh, right. Foresight. Yeah. Okay. So the good news is you're still alive. Yep. Um, so shift S gets rid of him? Shift X. Shift X gets rid of him. Okay. All right. So now our turn to attack back. Uh, yes. I am attacking for just the five because I lost a player. So five, they have four defense. So I'm only doing one damage, correct? Yeah. Keep damage is three. Okay, got it. Are you Oops, getting through yours? I can yours? hit for three. And another two Wait, is no. five. Uh, I hit enough. for five with Martial and then two with Thalion. Oh, because your weapon. And there's two yeah. quests in the... Where do you see the victory display, by the way? Is that easy to... Uh, go to view, shared, victory display. View, shared... Victory display. Victory display. Oh, there's three in there. Oh, no, no. One of them's not. No, one of them's uh, the pendant that you threw away. Yep, got it. Do I want the resources here? I mean, you can kill it, right? What's the point yeah. of not killing it? Uh, Martheo, if you're engaged with at least two enemies, you can gain additional resource. If you're engaged with at least one, you get uh, a tactics resource. By the way, you took damage, so I did add uh, a damage yep. to protect the innocent. Yeah, I'll just get the money. So I get it for how much threat it has, and it's not printed, right? Yeah, so I get three because of this buff, actually. Wait, what just happened? Uh, I'm playing Proud Hunters. Where is that card? I put it in your player. Oh. Um, play only if you control a unique character with a noble trait and any other character with a ranger trait. Response. After a hero you control participates in an attack that destroys an enemy, add X resources toward the hero's pool. X is uh, the just destroyed enemy's printed threat value. So you get so two... two. Yep. And you play it for three. For free. And yep. this guy's dead. So I hit X? Yep. Okay. Got it. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying learning with me now that you can see what's going on. Uh, <laughs> halfway through the yeah. game. Uh, all right. So we did our attacks. We did their stuff. So now refresh is what? Shift N, right? Yep. I can, I can be taught. I can learn. So you get this jobber. Because you were first player. Oh, man. And oh, man. what did I get? Ooh, I get Vigilant uh, Dunan. 
While there is a side quest in the victory display, Vigilant Dunin does not exhaust to defend. That's me. You're looking at my hand. Gosh darn it. <laughs> oh, I get a test of will. Yep. I mean, you're going to play, I guess, like, the would... stuff you lost, I guess, yeah, right? I'm just playing the horn. Um, but then I'm giving the resource back so I can play Test of Wills later if I need to. Uh, so you're not going to play Tooth Wine? I can't. I, do, I have Test Will in my hand. You so do? You don't need to hold it okay. for that. I have two of them, yeah. All right. So I'll spend that resource, spend both of those resources. That'll put Tooth Wine back in. I have four yeah, red resources. Now... Nothing to do with it, by the way. I mean, you have Firefoot, uh, you have the Lancers, you also have Errant Riders in theory uh, that can move resources around, actually. Okay. Um, I will spend the two to put Armor Death Rear actually out. What's that? Well, that's restricted, so I can't do that there. No, oh, the horse. Yeah. You can't do it anywhere because nobody else is that kind of... Yeah, they're all restricted. Put on you. Who did you put on? Oh, you. thank you, sir. So now I can defend. Yep. And ready to help with the attack for one extra plinky damage if I need it. Yep. All right. Uh, that's to convince you to really not quest with him. <laughs> so sh I shouldn't do the West Road Traveler cheated in this turn right no i don't we definitely want to clear orc ambush i think sucks so i do want to cheat in the traveler well you can cheat in the traveler to get card draw but you and to get you know, two more like, questing yeah but then, then but she's, we, she's just gonna get shuffled in but then we can't travel to outlying homestead at any point soon right I mean, it's just another encounter card, I guess. It's fine. Well, it's only two threat also. So Yeah, it's only which, two threat. Which is That's like what I was the eight that... that, And I need card draw because I need to get another steward. I need to get through this deck. So I'm yep. definitely going to cheat her in. All right. So we're uh, committing to the quest. You are first player. Go ahead, Terrence. All right. So I'll quest here, 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 and here. All right, so you're at 14. Ambush. And we're going to get rid of Orc Ambush, right? That's the whole point yep. of this? Yep. All right. Uh, we got to raise our threat by one. Ah, uh, what is that? From the... I just uh, hit from... E. What did that do? Did I just... It reveals an encounter card. Yeah, we'll not do that. Uh, how do I shuffle it? Oh, that's right. Shuffle. Okay. Um, Q is what I meant to do. Oh, but U to increase my threat? Yep. Now, why is that? Because this Orc War Party, is that what's... Yeah, yeah, that's part of the quest card. So we don't make optional engagements, but that's like to deter you from keeping stuff in the staging area, right? Got it. Well, we got to get rid of that War Party. I feel like we could do it next turn by sacrificing that Traveler, and I think I can attack and kill it with Aomer now that it's got the two damage on it, right? Yeah. Because I hit for seven. As long as I lost the character that turn... Which you will if you chomp anyways, right? <laughs> yeah, good call. Because I can't cheat anybody in necessarily for the quest. Uh, all right. Because it depends on what I draw. So quest, 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 quest. Right? Yep. Yep. Uh, so 15 progress right now. We'll definitely get rid of orc ambush and this side scheme. So feels good. Yeah. So first card. Uh, D, right? E. E, your first card. E for player. encounter. I mean, it doesn't matter who does it. Oh, you no, dog. Oracle bar. Oh, these are also plus one, right? All right, next card. This guy's also plus one. All right, so... This is not great. So we made six, so that's four goes on there, and then two on the war party. Or the ambush. Yeah. This is terrible. Uh, 
That's terrible. This time I should have quested with, uh, what's his name? Just kidding. <laughs> All right, I, I guess I'll pull him down. Are you really? I mean, we can't quest with that, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, location first. Are we traveling anywhere? Yeah. Uh, if you want to reveal Ch another encounter. Chetwood uh, Forest? Yeah, we'll do Chetwood Forest because I'll engage. Yep, so that's how you engage it. So, which is actually good in this situation because we could theoretically optionally engage more stuff now as well. Uh, do you want to option engage more things? No. Kate says, and the random encounter deck strikes again. Yes. I mean, do you want me to pull down Orc War Party? You can't kill that. You can fight it, I can right? Coney, Coney and trap it. Well, hold on. Let's do this. I need to draw a card, right? So I get rid of this West Road Traveler. What's that, X? No, I shuffle her back into my deck. If I drop her, does it just go on top? Yeah, so you just hit H to shuffle her in deck. H? Okay, well, too late. Why is it showing 11 progress now? Because we removed... Oh, we removed I a removed. bunch of stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I mean, engage it if you want. I need to draw a card, so it's D. Rod of the Stewart. That's what hero. you want with that's that's what you want when you have Steward of Gondor. You can convert your resources into card draw. Yeah. It's not great right now. Alright. Nope. It's not restricted either. Actually I could do it, it on the red hero, which I've just got freaking unlimited resources with now, right? Anyway. Um all, all right. right. So, are you optionally engaging anything? He's a four attack. What will your thing do? Doesn't snare stop him from attacking, or you don't have snare? I have Coney and Trap. What does that do? After I engage an enemy, they cannot attack. Just this round, though? Yep, just this round. Are you gonna be able to in the kill next round, I can play. I can play Andrath Guardsman. Your hand, she's nine. And you can enemy engage with you. The enemy can't attack you. Okay, yeah. Then why wouldn't you engage it? Right. Still got to deal with this guy. Well, but you don't have to worry about the orc war party, right? All it's doing is removing four threat from the area. Yeah, I feel like I'm doing it just so we can quest. Yeah, of course. All right. I'm going to play Coney in the trap. I engaged him, so he's not attacking. Yep. Uh, shift S for encounter cards. Now, oh yeah, he still gets one even though. Uh, I'm going to do my shadow card thing just so I can see what the card is. Uh, well, that's terrible. We can determine the order of the attacks or you have to take yours first. I have to take mine first. Because I can discard with the mount. I could have discarded a shadow card from uh, an engaged enemy. Yeah, but I, I have to defend first because I am first player. Wait a minute. Sorry, let me ask you this. Could you add the card to the Orc War Party to get your card draw? Yes. So you should probably do that. But I'm right? more concerned about the four attack. With, like, zero defense? Well, now that I know what it is. I mean... Because I looked at the shadow card, right? Like, the thing says you can turn it up and then choose if you add. So I don't have to add one anymore. But I know what it is, so I can decide who to block with now, right? Yeah. I mean, it's got to be Thalen or whatever, right? Yeah, just kill him off, I guess. I mean, it's four, either that right? or you're losing one of your heroes. Yeah. Sucks. All it right. does suck, but another, least... no. Wait, could you? Another. You had to add it to the character that what that drew it the extra encounter card. No, I, you don't have to add it. You but if you do choose... add it, it has to be to that one. Yeah, it couldn't be to the orc war party at this point, which we know is yeah, it has to be that him, one. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you're chumping anyway, do you want another one? Is there overkill? No. So why wouldn't you add a second one if you're dying anyway? Right? Yeah. Take a card. 
Does everyone want a Lacey Blade? All right. So Fountain dies, and then sorry, Caleb, and then Protecting Innocent takes another damage. All right, and I am going to defend with Denethir. Flip it up. Nothing. Um, so he's so now attacking. you can exhaust it to ready. Oh wait, we have to add. Oh, you add a protect the innocent thing. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yep. Uh, but you can't exhaust armor destrier. This is the window if you want to ready him. Okay. So I don't think you need to, but I ready him and I can discard a card from somebody. <laughs> Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, there is none because it has to be in front of you. It's the player that defended, right? It's oh. the defending player. Yeah. Destrier to ready Sentinels discard a shadow card from another enemy engaged with the defending player. You're right. Okay, yep. so I attack for three plus the two, plus two more from the sword. So that's seven? Yeah. So A to do seven, which kills this dude. Yeah. So the nice thing is with Guthwine now. Wait, did you want to you hit it? yours? What, what, what is armor throw doing? What? Sorry, I did defend and attack. You, you should. Oh, yeah. I was, I was gonna, I'm going to attack with five against uh, the war party, probably. Oh, really? That only does one damage. Five? Yeah, because it's plus one yeah, armor. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I mean, so, I, I want this to die more. Okay. Can you actually kill the Marauder, though? Like, next turn? Because the War Party, you're going to be able to block one more turn for, right? Yeah. Or... or make him not attack one more turn so couldn't you kill that marauder in two turns like next turn you'd be dead with five and five attack yeah all right it's your call i'm just pointing it out all right so you're putting one on the war party yep all right so time to ready up draw up right so what is it? Shift. Oh wait. Uh, actually, it's two because I didn't defend with Gil Rayan, right? Oh yeah, you got this person here. Nice. So you're attacking with her? Yep. Uh, yeah. I shouldn't do anything else. <laughs> yep. All right. Uh, but if I give her a Lycee Blade, she will hit for a lot more next turn. Seems good. All right. So shift end, right? And then you, oh, we got a nope. shift. Uh, yeah. Shift Two. X to get rid of those cards, or no, shift S, right? Yeah. No, shift X. Sh shift X. X. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then you, we said, right? Yep. All right. I'm gonna engage the other orc war party most likely this turn. Um. Assuming we get through this stupid orc ambush too. Uh. But all right, because that'll stop so us from getting the extra threat each turn, right? Yeah. So I the mean, benefit now is that since I have two enemies engaged with me, is there I only one tactics. stage? Can... Players defeat this there's, stage. There's only one stage. Yeah. Okay. Thank God. I'm like, wait a minute. What is going on here with all these freaking quests? Um. All right. So what are we doing? Right. I'm sorry. You're you're a first player, so we're in planning. Okay. Uh, I did draw escorts from Armor, which will give us four to the quest. Letters. Seems good. Right, and you, and you can just dump that in for free, so that feels good. Yeah. I mean, dumping is what I'm doing. Should I do Rod of the Stewart? I mean, you might as well just put it on. On Armor? Well, no, Armor's not a Gondor, so it has to be Lothario or Denethor. But probably most likely Denethor. <sighs> right. Because... He will eventually, hopefully, get Stewart again. All right. Yeah, well, this is I mean, sad. You only have how many cards left? 34 cards in your deck left? Do you want me to give the armored horse to... Oh, I can't. I can't even pay for it anywhere. Yeah, you can't pay for it. Never mind. Okay. So, right. committing to the quest? Or No, no I, I gotta do my planning. So, I'm gonna spend two to put Air of... Uh, Valandil. I have two enemies, so I can now exhaust to put in this guy for free. That seems good. Uh, 
This is not a unique enemy, so he's not going to attack this turn. Nice. And I will also actually put this out. Steed of the North. Steed of the North. Uh, after you engage an enemy, exhaust Steed of the North to ready the attached hero. That also seems... Wait, do you want it on that hero? Why not? Wouldn't you want it on you your defender? Too. It's only when you engage, so it'd be like quest engage. Oh yeah, right? yeah. She's so not quest questing, for two, so. and then you'll be able to ready him again. Yep. Yeah, and so. at this point, uh, wait. No, I, I think I still put. Did I put Lacey Blade on her? I mean, she ain't defending anymore with two damage, unless you feel lucky. Your call, man. How many quests are in the victory now? Two. When we clear Orc Ambush, it'll be three. Yeah, which seems good. All right. So committing to the quest, I am first player. Or are you still doing stuff? No. You seem to have a lot of resources, too. All right. So questing. I need a chumper this turn. So West Road Traveler will probably be my chumper. Right? Yep. Uh, questing questing we'll put this person in and they'll be questing for four how do i increase that number tab is five, five. i hit five yeah sweet all right so you're questing for six yeah i'm wondering well the orc war party's not attacking we know that but you do need to do stuff to get rid of this Marauder. Or defend against a Marauder, at least. Yeah, just not going to engage anyone, so I'm not going to be able to ready, right? Most likely. Not going to engage someone, right? Yes. And if you do, you need them to defend against that thing you engaged anyway. Yeah, so I'm wondering, can I... Can I afford to hold them back? I mean, there's only six thread up there. And I'm questing for 12 right now. Yeah, so we're 12 up. I basically... And we need, what, five. So... Ah, uh, no, we need seven. Oh, you're right. There's already two progress on it. Yeah, we only yeah, need five. five. I think yeah. we're okay, right? Yeah, no, don't yeah, quest yeah. with them. All right. Cool. So how do you unquest? I didn't, I didn't hit you to unquest. I didn't quest with him. Oh. I'm just questing with Thurndeer. Oh, you are questing with Thurndeer still. I mean, he quests for like six, so. You Has know, he quest like, for six? He gets two from Gil Rayan and then two from the side quest. And it'll be. Oh, from Air of. No. Which one from the side quest? Oh, uh, right. His, his ability. That's his yeah. ability. So when we clear, when we clear Orc Ambush, he'll be questing for seven. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. So we're done questing, uh, except we got to draw bad cards, which is E for e. encounter card. Yep. I am first player. All right. Anglar Marauder. All right. Okay. You do yours. Uh, if the current quest is a side quest, it gets plus two. So it does get plus two. So five, five. So we're up five, which is exactly what we needed, right? Boom. Oh my gosh. There we go. All right, so this goes well, away. Where's the boom, 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 Peter? Boom, boom, boom. All right. I feel much better about that. And then this goes away. Oh, no. No, no. Angmar Marauder what? gets plus one from the stupid orc ambush. So are we literally short one again? We're literally short one. Oh, it's short one. Yeah. Right? I'm... I'm now you're right. <sighs> Stupid ambush. It's going to be the death yeah. of me, Terrence. So you're saying I should have quested. What I'm saying is that didn't work out for us, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, well, we're traveling for a rigged, rigged country. That's for sure. Wait, what? Out of here. 
Oh, yeah. That garbage. Well, hold on. So, before the end of the quest phase, I gotta shuffle this guy back into my deck. Right? You said... No, no, no. He gets discarded. Oops. So, he was on top of my deck. Yes. So, he gets discarded. But, I do have the you horn back again. Card. So, I do get yeah. to draw a card. Shannon, good? Steward. Steward. And you'll be able to play him next turn. <sighs> this... This is no bueno, Terrence. I don't know what to do here. Um, uh, do you leave Angar Marauder up there? Well, we're going to travel to this location. We said that. You, you pull a War Party down? I think... I can't kill War Party right now. So maybe I pull down... I thought you can kill War Party. That was bef Oh, I do have plenty of people... Here. Actually, yes. With Denethor, I think I can. So, it's five... Seven. Seven. Against... From Aemir, and eight from Denethor. Eight. Yeah. Which is exactly enough, right? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm pulling him down. How sad will we be? I guess we'll find out. I mean... We're getting rid of threat up there, and we're not going to be taking 57 threat. Yeah, I almost wondered if we got to go to protect the innocent next turn. Doing what? Protect the innocent. Oh, yeah, because we're adding another point to it right now. Yeah. At least one. Yeah. Oh, are you chumping also? Uh, we'll see when I draw the shadow cards, because I'm going to look face up. Yeah, so shift F. All right, so uh, I'm first player, first. right? So let's just do mine. Uh, so I'm defending with West Road Traveler. West Road. A little sad, but is what it is. Um, I mean, nothing we could do about. It. Uh oh, plus one for each ally defending player control. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's it doesn't fine. matter. Still dead. <laughs> what that yep. is is still dead. All right, so, so I'm gonna look at mine. So oh man! For, so he's going five. back to the staging area too. So you can't he's even kill going it. Back to staging. Well, it doesn't matter. You weren't going to kill it anyway, right? Yeah, but it was nice having tactics in front of me because then I could have played vigilant next turn. I mean, you can engage uh, optionally engage it again next turn. So he's hitting for what four? Oh, by the way, I got five? one. At that point, do I chomp it? Thanks, Kate. Good night. Yeah, I guess I got to chomp. We got to go to protect the innocent next turn. Unfortunately. So I, I can't take five, right? I can't imagine that you could. I mean, I could take it on of Martial, but that seems dumb. Yeah, I mean, do I, get, do I just do I just give it another shadow card? Is that a bad idea? Are you gonna chump it? Yeah, I'm gonna chump it. Then who cares? Why not? The only downside is if there's that shadow card that's like discard attachments, or whatever. Yeah, I think you're fine. Oh, yep. Same one. <laughs> All right, uh, can you put one on there? Yeah, we definitely have to go there next turn. By the way. Yep. Yep. In case you were wondering. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, this isn't in the main thing, so it, it definitely makes it a little harder. All right. Uh, tax back. So you kill in your war party. Yep. So, so it's seven, eight. <laughs> yep. The one. You can exit. Exit with great gusto. And then the benefit is boom, boom, when boom. you exhaust Guthwine, you can pull one of your Rohan allies back into your hand, which is fantastic. Wait, what, what, what? Guthwine allows you then fetch a ally from your discard Wait, into your hand. Where do you see this? Guthwine. You have to exhaust it to get the plus two. Oh, right. His attack destroys an enemy, return a Rohan ally from your discard. Yeah. Have I not destroyed anything with Guthwine before? You did last turn or whatever. 
I did not do that last turn. I told you to do it. I All right. Just... Well, I'm going to get a Westward Traveler from this turn. And then from last turn, I think Escort, right? You either get Escort or Thadewin, I think, are the two. Or Westfold, whatever. Yeah, I think you take an Escort and do you just take a Thadewin for instead of the Westfold? Well, I guess unless you're playing it, you're probably going to play it, right? Well, last turn I had to pick. So last turn you're saying take Thadewin? What's that? I don't see Thaden. Oh. After Thaden enters play, either draw a card. Okay. So Thaden will be one of them. And then I get to decide Westwold, which I won't be. All right. Yeah, no, no, no. It's going to be Escort. Yeah. And then H you, shuffles you're... my hand. Yeah. What? Eight shuffles into your deck. How do I shuffle my deck? I have to click on it and shuffle. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, you, wait. Where, where where, you? Where'd you put it? It goes into your hand, dude. Oh, both of those should be in my hand? Yeah, Guthwine puts in your hand, not your deck. Oh. Oops. That's guy. Wait, why? Uh, what's peak? Stop peaking. Peak allows you to see the top. So I can't, like, you know, it's like, uh, remember we were looking at Domino or whatever? Looking at browse. the top of your deck. Browse is what I, I meant to do. Yeah, browse is what you want. Turn face up all of them. And only, not enemies, only allies. So, what is it? They'd win? Got her. Yep. And the questing one. Escort, Escort for Master Edoras. Yeah. Shuffle. Okay. Wait. Why is there a wheel turning around or something? Do you see that? Oh, that's me. You can hit T to target something. So I can be like, look at this. Oh. Got it. All right. So what are we doing now? I was just waiting for you to finish your turn. I think uh, I'm done, now right? I'm doing my attack. Oh, they're attacking you. So I'm going to attack for oh, no, five and then three, eight against his four defense, which is another four, which is just enough to kill him, right? Nice. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. That is a boom, boom, boom. Both war parties dead single turn. Feels yeah, good, but right? we've got these jobbers that are not easy with this stupid orc ambush that won't go away, by the way. Oh, wait. Yeah. This one's going to go back to the staging area. Yeah, this one's back in staging, so we got to raise our threat by two. Wait, why? Because there's two enemies in staging. Oh, wait. Or the orc, orc war party? Either one? No, it's any, it's any enemy. Oh, so Pretty any enemy saving. will raise your threat by an extra one. So we're doing shift yeah. N, and then U. Times two. Oh, we do one for each enemy? Yep, for each enemy. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right. I mean, it's what it is, right? <laughs> I mean, is it? All right. Like, I feel like we're not making progress here. Like, I feel like we're spinning we, our wheels. We are, we, we are but you kind of got to, like, get rid of the stuff, get your board built that you lost but yeah i don't have uh, a board you still have steward a horse horn of the mark and goose line out well i'm about to get steward search top 10 cards of your deck for a weapon or armor attachment and add it to your hand valor search top five cards of your deck for a weapon or armor attachment wait action or valor action what's a valor action when your threat is 40 or higher. So that's bad. So it's like just worse, right? No, you get to do both. Oh, so if I wait one more turn, I can do both. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you're first player, right? So go ahead and do your 
first place. Yeah, I just played free land protector. So she kind of helps with the ability because I can have them redraw the shadow card. Yeah, that seems good. All right. So we done? Are you done? Yep. All right. So I'm going to put Stuart in and then use it. Right? So I'll yep. just exhaust that to get the two back. That's the weird part about Stuart. Uh, so Escort, I'm just going to cheat in. Should I put in Theowin? You could just pay for Escort and then cheat in Thadewin if you wanted. Well, I'd rather cheat in Escort because she goes away, right? The Escort goes away, whereas Thadewin stays. Yeah. It, right? Yeah. So that's fine. Me you, it, just mean, it just means you can't like cycle her back through your deck, I guess. Oh, by the way, I've had to test the wills this whole time. Is there something that I yeah. should have used that on? Not yet. Well, the problem is I'm not going to have the resource for it if I put in Thadewin this turn. I have I have two test wills in my hand and three resources. Okay. All right. So I'm moving a resource over to uh, Lothriel from Denethor. Yep. And then I'm going to spend all three of them to put in Thadewin. Which and you oops, draw a card. I just attached her for no reason. Uh, how do I unattach her? Just click and detach. Click I on the card. I thought I did that, but it didn't do it. Okay. I put her down draw here. Anyway, uh, after Thadewin enters play, either draw a card or add a resource. I'm probably going to add the resource, right? No, you need cards, man, don't you? I don't know. I have a shield. There you go. Now you can now you can play Gondor and shield and give down a four or five defense. Hey, I can actually use my red cards for once. Um, so that's restricted. Wait, my horse is restricted. I can't do that. You have two restricted. Uh, Gondor, right? Stewart is not restricted. No. Holy crap! You only have two restricted. Yeah, Stewart and Gondor is ridiculous. By the way. Yeah, I was back when they made the core set, man. They did not have bounced the game. It was yeah. the first, like, game of its kind, right? Solo, cooperative, constructed card game. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. All right, so I am done. You are done? Uh, you can hit seven to give him two defense tokens if you want. I am done. That is permanent. It is permanent. It's forever until you lose that shield. Right. Whereas the sword's the not. Right. Which is five? No. Yeah. Uh, six. That's six. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Question. It's question time. So we're doing, obviously, Protect the Innocent here. Yeah. Uh, we're. Yeah. I think it's too close for comfort. Too close for comfort? Is it nine? Yeah, too close for comfort. It's, it's, a, it's past too close for comfort. The comfort has left the building like a year ago. Um, I am going to engage one of those things, though, because I do have a five armor hero now. Um, that can ready. That can ready. I wish I could engage both of them, but I can't. Uh, you might be able to if you get the location. Yeah, let's hope. All right, so you done? So I'm going to quest with right. her. And I think I put the escort for Metaris in, right? For another yep. four questing? Yep. What number is it? Four? Yeah, and then if you kill one, you can pull them back into your hand. <laughs> uh, five? Yeah. Five, yep. Wait, if I kill one, what? Oh, yeah, Enemy yeah. Enemy with Boothwine, you can pull it back, which is awesome. Yes. Uh, so let's quest here, and we'll quest here. All right. Two I cards. shouldn't need help killing these things. It, I mean, it is seven, so you should have just. I mean, I have seven, one. but yeah, uh, I can. I actually have eight with Denethir because after he defends, uh, yeah, he can. Do I have any other weapons or armor in my deck? By the way, you have your horse Firefoot that gives him plus two. Who? And you have three horse breeders that can pull him. It starts the top ten cards for a mount. It's a mount. So like should I have done that this riding. turn instead of waiting? No, no, it's it's not an armor, so you can't search for it. 
with the card you have. Oh, it's There's a, horse. a ally that's a horse. That's why I asked, do I have a weapon tutor. or armor? But the answer is no. Uh, there's one called Ancestral Armor that, uh, gives you plus two defense and plus two health. So I should probably have done that. I can do it next turn, I guess. Yeah. I mean, next turn I'll be able to do the Valor action also. Right? So that gives me two chances to grab it. So, I'll just wait. All right. Yeah, I mean, the, the Valor action is better because it allows you to put the card into play without paying for it yeah but it has to be in that second set of five you said i get to do both yeah. right yeah yeah yeah. i believe so oh you're looking it up i was gonna type it all right um uh, all right questing so we're questing we're plus 13 right now yeah which I mean, it's going to remove Should something. knock it down. Should remove some. Yes. Two All right. Cards. So U. No. E. All right. So that's two more. Doomed one. So that's me. Your first player. That's both of us. It's both of us. Doomed one's everyone. So you. Okay. And then uh, in city, players cannot reduce their threat. Oh. The Valor, you have to pick one of the two, but you have to pick which one you want. All right, so I should have just done it that turn. Hey, we're doomed again. You again. Oh, well, you can Valor now. Yes, wonderful. I mean, I... All right, so we're still up nine, so remove six off of Protect the Innocent. So X, boom, 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 and then six. Seems good. Yeah. Uh, so do we why is this not working you have to do three on the bottom part of the card there you go. Yeah. i did it uh so do we travel one of these or we just eat the six so all of them will are the same will reveal reveal a card which kind of sucks right now. I mean, I think we eat the six, right? Well, hold All on. Right. So this person gets, escort gets sh discarded. Discarded. Yep. And then I draw get to card. draw a card. Which is Elfhelm. While Elfhelm is ready, he gains response. After your threat is raised as a result of questing unsuccessfully or by an encounter or quest effect, Reduce your threat by one. That's not very useful. But he is... It's great. It prevents the main quest thing by one. What do you mean? It cancels out the main quest card effect. Oh, does it? For one threat. Because it says... It, it says you... When your threat is raised as a result of quest and accessory or by an encounter or the quest card effect, which that is... Yes, you can reduce your threat by one. All right. So we're just going to keep the six up there? uh can are you gonna be able to engage one or no uh sure i mean i can chomp if i have to i'll look I, at the card yeah right. so when are we going to focus on the main quest are we close to that or not really i mean i think once we work ambush like the thing is like the side quests are victory right so you don't see them again yeah and, and that's kind of what i was saying that i think player side quests are much more expensive in this than a player side scheme in marvel champions because it's significantly hard to clear a quest card oh yeah because it costs you the entire turn yes all right so let's get going um uh shift s yep and i get to ready all these people because i engage someone seems good uh, you're right. going to peek? Uh, I'm going to peek. Nothing? Nothing. Uh, do I take another card? It's probably not worth it. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, if you know you can kill it and you know you can defend it. I'm just going to block for four. What's actually. your hand at? You have five. Decent amount of cards. I'm going to just block it because then by keeping it, I get to keep tactics. I'll go up to three. And then I can 
play uh, Vigilant next turn, and he won't exhaust ever to defend. All right. And then you can kill it next turn, or whenever. Yeah. Yeah, All right. whenever. So I'm defending, obviously. Let's flip it. Plus one if this attack destroys an ally, so it doesn't. So plus one gives him four, five attack. Yeah, but you defend for five. I'm three, four, five with my shield, with my armor, or shield, yeah. with my shield. So five to five. So then I get to ready myself. Yeah. And remove a card from somebody else, which doesn't matter. Uh, so he defends for three. So he's a total of seven life, and I attack for seven. Yeah. And get to bring exactly. an ally back into my hand. You said right. Yeah, you got to exhaust the goof line as well. Technically. Yes. Oops. I it just quest, means you can't like, use it. I with Guth Wine. <laughs> sure. Uh, X. Oh, and you you said you weren't attacking yours. Yeah, so Shift X. Boom, boom, boom. Shift X? Oh, yeah. Get yep. rid of the cards. And then Shift and then, N. Sh yep. And then Stupid U, right? Nope. Nope. No enemies. Wait, why didn't I... Why didn't my guys ready? Did you hit shift N? What does it say? Hit. Oh, Goose like saved the did. replay to their profile. Yeah, just hit shift R. Shift R? Yeah. Wait, why did I just do that? Hello? I don't know. Uh, cause I think that, oh, that refreshes. That's not what you want to do. I raised my threat by one. What is going on here? Yeah, just, just lowered, I guess. Lowered by one. Okay. So shift N. Why is it not readying me? Or giving me resources, doing nothing. Hello? Yeah. Uh... Am I not... What is going on here? I can't hit Q to unquest my guys either. It says I'm reading and doing all this stuff. But nothing's happening. Do I have to like log out and log back in? I'm negative 12 to questing. <laughs> what is going on? Nice. nice. You're 45 at threat. I don't know why that keeps... Because I keep trying to hit shift down. Uh, so is the game jacked? Uh, yeah, I guess just come back and come leave and come back. Does that fix it? I don't know if it does. Okay. Uh... Just refresh page. Hold on, I gotta figure out... Discord is where you sent me the link to this. Uh, I mean, I just meant just refresh the browser page. Well, too late for that, sir. And everybody's staring at blankness. Oh, no, they're staring Boys. at us on OBS. Okay, everything's... Okay now. Is it okay on your end? Uh, I think so. Did you just get a bunch of resources? Uh, I have seven, three, and two. Does that sound right to you? No. You spent all of your spirit, right? Yes, yeah, so I think I'm I think, one I think, I think you're up I think you're up one for everything. Now, where's my threat though? We said I was 40 at the end of last turn, so I got to be at least 41, right? Yeah. All so right. I should be 42. What? I should be 42. Yeah, you were one more than me for most of the game so far. So I got a rider. Exhaust the rider to move one resource from the resource pool of a hero you control to another hero's resource pool. But that's all they yeah, do. Yeah, so that, that was what I was telling you. That's like the smooth that's a smoothing card. So it allows you to smooth yep. 
use them to like move, you know, like stuff off of Amber. So I'm gonna steward a Gondor, obviously. I'm definitely paying the one purple uh, resource. I am first player, technically, right? Because you you killed your guy first, right? Uh, but you that's because you said you weren't attacking. Oh, but it still okay. shows you being first player. That's fine. Uh, so are you first player? I think then I'm technically first player. All right, but, then you just go. But it's fine. No, it's fine. Just go. You go first, since we'll just follow the the thing. All right. So I'll put this. I'll put out this guy. Spend all those resources. I'll actually just put this four snare on this guy, so he's just never attacking me. Okay, seems good. And so that allows me to essentially just have the. Now I'll have someone who will just give me that tactics resource on my marketal. Wait. So how are you getting that again? Uh, if I'm engaged with an enemy, if you read uh, which one the hero card, while you're engaged with at least one enemy, a mark deal gains the tactics resource icon. So that's ah. how I'm I'm playing. Got like it. I have to have an enemy engage with me. And if I have two, then I get an additional resource every turn. Got it. Yeah. All right. So we we didn't travel to any of these locations. All right. So you're yeah, just playing the vigilant. Do you did. Yeah. All right. So I did play for the Errant Rider. I am going to exhaust the Errant Rider to move a resource over to Lothriel. Um, oh, well, we can just use actually this Iron for first player if you want. Because we're moving it back and forth. Oh, okay. Um, and do I just sit on? There's not really anything to are, do. Are you Valoring? You gonna do your? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll spend you, the knew, you knew the action, or are you doing the five, the ten, or the five? I think the ten, because I got resources. I'm not worried about the resources. You know what I mean? Okay. Do you not agree with that? No, I mean if you can't play it this turn, you'll play it next turn, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you got Stewart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not worried. And actually, I didn't have to move resources around. So what am I looking for? Oh, armor or a weapon? Yep, has to say armor There's or weapon. There's firefoot. Not armor or weapon. I'm well aware. We got faint, which would have been nice. Horse breeder. Ah, ancestry armor. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, so obviously, like, being able to play that in for free for one, or for one feels really good, but... You know, is what it is. It was in the top five, too, I think. Yeah. But, I mean, there's no way I would have. I mean, that's a big gamble. All right. So, instead of moving the resource to Lothriel, I'm just going to... Well, you can do that without Aaron Rider, right? You can just use your one per. No, no, no. I need it on purple. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, instead of moving it to... Lothriel, I, I just would have waited if I wasn't a moron. Uh, attached to one of those character. Character gets plus two armor and plus two hit points. And it's not Yeah, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to either give up your Destrier or your shield. Because you only have two restricted slots. Oh, it is restricted. Yeah. I mean, so it basically replaces the shield that I have. Yeah. The only difference is it gives me plus two armor hit points or hit points which is good right if you i mean yeah so if you place a destrier you lose your ready but it allows you to defend for seven do i need to defend for seven i mean it would allow you to tank the orc war party at face value right i'm just gonna hold it right okay like, yeah then it... you, if you don't want to play it this turn then you don't play it Right, like, yeah, because if an orc war party comes up, then we know that. Then I play it next turn or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um. Well, actually, do I want elf? So let me go back to if I'm not playing it. Let me go back to what I had originally done. And give blue. So do I want West Road Traveler? It doesn't do anything, but it's just a permanent source. A quest, a quest for two. That seems a good because that's the win condition now. Yeah. 
So why don't I play, play that? But you don't need your errant rider to do that. Huh? You can just use your you can just use your Denethor's ability to move one over. That's fine. It's the same thing. End of the day, it's the same. Thing. Well, no, the benefit is Ant Rider can move stuff off of Aramur. It, it did. That's where I did move oh. it from originally. Gotcha. That's what I'm saying. I just changed who I moved it to. Is all. Um, it's fine. So, and I'm going to cheat in Elfhelm. Or, or should I just saved up and just play Elfhelm? And cheated in Western you can Traveler. Cheat, you can cheat in Alphelm, it's fine. Do we care about the one extra? What's the alley you pulled back from Guthwine? It was the Westward Traveler, I think. Okay. Because it was on top. Because I didn't have the one that was for whatever. Why not? They get discarded every time you quest. That is a good question. Did I shuffle it into my deck because I'm, I'm a moron? You can just browse your discard, you know. Well, why don't like you... Like, browse. I, I think I shuffled it into my deck. So this is a card I drew. So I shuffled that back into my deck because I'm a moron. Uh, It's right here. Where? Your discard pile. Oh, did you I see it? That. Yeah, you just hit the triple thing and just go to browse. You can see everything. Okay. So that should be in my hand also then. So you, did, you didn't pull Westwold is what you're saying. You pulled... So Westwold should be discarded. Okay. Why did he get discarded? Why did she get discarded? Because you chumped with her. Okay. You chumped a big enemy attack. All right. I, I don't know what I did wrong, but it's fine. So right. maybe I don't... And I hold on for Elfhelm, then? Because there's sure. really no reason to put this one in, because it gets discarded. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll just hold the two then. And actually, I could put a third one over there now. From yep. Denethir. Yeah. Alright, so that's fine. That's where I am. Okay. Quest? Lesson for oh wait we did clear the no we didn't of course you have to clear that stupid side scheme so okay. we're, we're going for the side scheme right yes hopefully got just got to make one one I mean are we way over committing to this uh, that's a few I don't know no that's what I'm asking like do we well, we not... might be yeah I don't know if you want to ask for it unless you want the card draw I mean why wouldn't I. Because if there's an enemy, I'm going to kill it, and I'm going to get her back anyway, right? Yeah, if you want the enemy, then you travel the outlying homestead, I guess. Get another kind of card, but... So do I hold anybody else back just to be safe? Yeah, down for us two blocks. Yeah, I mean, right now we're at freaking plus 17. We clearly don't need that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like I don't know if we want to do plus 17 on that. So you're saying don't use the escort this turn? Yeah, maybe not. Unless you really want that card draw, I guess. I mean, what's the but benefit you, of not doing? But now you now you can also convert two leadership resources into a card draw. Uh, the benefit for not doing it is basically if I don't get yeah, to I mean, fight, I get it for next turn. Yeah, uh, but then it also does mean Amor doesn't get plus two attack. So that that's the other trade off too. If oh you yeah, use yeah. The escort. No, I gotta do it then. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're plus seventeen. It's fine. So, I mean, again, that's why we don't care about these stupid homesteads, right? We're questing for a ton every turn. So you... yeah, it's either that or we could go for main if you just want to leave that orc ambush there. But I don't know if you do. I mean, there's no orcs, right? Why don't we just go for yeah. main and try to win? Okay. I mean, 17 on main seems good, <laughs> right? Well, it won't, it won't exactly be 17, but sure, yeah. So E? Yep. So that is three. Uh, so that's five. That's another one. Oops. Okay, another one. There's an orc. Yep. 
Uh, yeah. I mean, attacks for so, five? Six with the war party. Can you defend that? I mean, I can, I mean, but I, I'll take damage. I could, I could if you didn't air, if you didn't burn your errant rider. What? I have a faint, but I don't have a resource to pay for it in my hand. So it's, I would need. To, it's fine. I, I can. To... I can kill it. I don't know if I can kill it. Yeah, I can do eight. Yep, I can kill it. It's fine. Everything is awesome. Uh, but this should have a fourth one on it. So we're okay. plus ten. Yep, so you put 10 on main. I mean, still good, right? Are we going to yep. travel to this? We are traveling to the yep. hills, right? Yeah, discard uh, escort. Uh, escort, discard yes. it first. Discard, you escort, draw. draw a card. Yep. They win. Seems good. What? Yeah. They would win. All right, so then I pull it's the orc. Too bad you already have her in play, so can't play her again. That's well, you never know who's gonna die for me. Uh, well, so I'm actually, it's good that I didn't get awesome. rid of either of these things. I mean, I guess I could have gotten rid of uh, the what you call it easy enough. Uh, are you gonna peek at yours? No reason not to. I, I mean, might as, might as well. He's not gonna. Yeah. He's not gonna attack me. Oh, I'm first player, I guess. Oh wait, wait. no, no. But you peek first. Uh, so no, it's an action. I can do it whenever. You can okay. really attack. All right. So I am defending, by the way, with Denethor. Do you want me to peek that? Oh, you want to peek mine? I mean, if you want to know what the shadow card is before. I don't know that I, I, I want don't have to add a second one to it though. Yours, you have yeah, I mean, I guess you, for free. You don't have an option. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just defending. Yeah. Defending player discards one attachment he controls for each quest card in play. Huh. I mean, uh, you do Destrier. Wait, can we test the Shadow Wills at or whatever? Oh, do you want me to breed land protector that? Yeah, I'd like to not. Discard right, all my new shadow card. Well, hold on, hold on. Are we talking about three? There's so I could get rid of Rod. Yeah, no, it's there's too much good stuff. So all you're right. canceling the you effect? Have to, you, have to, you have to draw a new one. Oh, so how do I do that? Yes. All right, so not doing that one. I'm doing this one, which is a nothing. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, All right. So you're looking at yours and drawing another one? Yep. Oh, the encounter deck's empty. Oh, I can't do it then. Oh, really? Oh, well. Yeah. Uh, the encounter deck only shuffles during the quest phase. Oh. Okay. All right. Uh, so did you, but you, you took a damage, right? Uh, yeah, so let me he's... see what's going on. He's attacking for six, so I did take a damage, so we also have to damage the other thing. Yeah. So it's three and three. But now I ready. Uh, and I can remove an encounter, whatever. So I attack for seven. To eight. Eight. And eight. All right. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that was wimpy. And then shift right. S. Shift. shift N. No, no. How do you get rid of your shadow cards? X. Shift X. S gives everyone encounter cards or shadow cards. Okay. It didn't because it was empty, thankfully. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. And then I get to draw my escort of Everest. Yep. Okay. So now we shift N. Hey, it worked this time, but yours didn't. Oh, do we each do it individually? Yes. Ah, okay. Nothing in the staging area. So, yeah, again, we could keep trying to win, right? Yep. I have faint, which seems good. I have two faints. 
So I can't put Thedwin in. I can put Elfheim in, though. Yeah, just put him in. So quest for one. Oh, well, let me steward. Oh, wait, you're first player this time. Uh, I'm not going to play it. I'm not playing anything. Yeah, I mean, Elfheim seems obvious, right? So it costs all four. And then I'll use the rider. Oops. To remove one from him. I'll add one to her. I'll move another one from him over to her. So she's got some resources because blue seems to be what I need the most of. You don't need an armored Destier, right? Me? No, I already have two restricted on people. Okay. I mean, I guess it doesn't make sense not to put the ancestral armor in instead of the shield. Right? Yeah, it, it's it's straight up better. Um, the only thing is if you wanted to keep your shield, you would dump the Destrier, right? So it kind of depends on... I mean, the Destrier saved my butt last turn. Like, I wouldn't have been able to kill it without the Destrier. Right? So it seems like... Yeah, I'll just hold again. All right, we're good. Let's go ahead and quest. Uh, we questing main... Uh, can. Uh, Do we need to remove this damage, by the way? It'd be nice to remove it. Um, do you want to just clear Orc Ambush? I mean, are we just doing a wimpy quest this time? I mean, I, I, I love quests the same people every time. <laughs> so, uh, that's, that's more you than me. Um... We can continue going after me. The, the only downside of leaving Orc Ambush there is mostly those shadow cards that you dislike. But if we just right. win, we just win, right? Like, yeah, it seems like the better course of action to me. Got my escort again. Yeah, we're plus 18. Uh, two encounter cards? Yep. So, again, E. X is the number of quest cards in play. Three. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then another one. Uh-oh. Surges. Wait. Makes Surges. an immediate attack. Oh. So it's an X. Oh, no, 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 you know, we got to find, not surges, we got to find Orc War Party, which it was. Oh. Well, that worked out. Yep. I mean, not in a good way. Can you do 10? I can do 8. You keep telling me I have a horse somewhere. I've not seen it. Actually, I did see it on, oh, I could faint, though, and I could kill it in two turns, right? I kill in this turn, I think. Oh, can you? Well, then you do that. Because this is four. Oh. What is... Armartho hits her five, and she hits her four, so that's nine. And then I have Vigilant. Yeah, I can kill him this turn. Nice. All right, so that's two, right? Yep. So we get 12. So five goes on there, seven goes on to me. Wait. Wait, we're 12. Why is... And then five on the sh active, which What's I discarded. the active? The shrouded thing. Oh, I forgot we had an active. So only seven yeah. on the main? Yep. Uh, so 17 out of 30. Uh, discard your escort. Because we're resolved. Uh, not discard it. Yeah, yeah, discard it. You're right. Discard uh, it. And then draw a Draw a card. They win again. So the and only that... negative of me not trying to kill it is that I don't get my escort back, which is fine. Yep. I mean, I can't kill it this turn for sure. So why don't you go ahead and... All right, so travel. I'm going to pick your travel, Shrouded Hills. 
Yes. Uh, shadow cards. It's in for, I'll just faint because F that. I just don't want to deal with it. Yes. Uh, so I'm taking none of these attacks. Um, yeah, see, that's terrible. I hate that shadow. Oh, wait, wait. Don't forget to uh, ready yourself because you engaged. Yeah. And so this is five, seven, 11. That's enough, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a 10. Yeah, so it's dead. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Ready right. up, drop. Yep. So shift N. Oh, I got a test of will. I got two test of wills, by the way. I still have not used it. And a faint. And a bunch of cards nice. I can't play. Nice. The armor is the only useful other card in my hand. Uh, and then you get iron. You know, you can just rot, dude, and draw a card. Just spend two. Draw. Oh, yeah. So I'll steward a Gondor to Rod of Gondor to draw a card. Rod doesn't exhaust. That's just an action. No limit. Oh. You do it again. Spend two more. And this time I actually have to spend them? To draw a card? Hey! Yeah. Play that. Horse Breeder. Play that. Search top ten. So one. Play the Horse Breeder. Now what does it do? Look, top ten for a mount. Uh, I mean, it's like almost a 50% chance you have 22 cards left in your deck. Browse, turn face up, top 10. Desperate. Seems like I see a horse here. No. No. Did you whiff? I might have. Feels like I did. I mean, 10's a good number of cards in your deck when your deck is 20 cards. Yeah. No. Well, that was sad. I think I whiffed. What would it be? An attachment? Yep. Yeah. Horn and Rod are the only two attachments I had. Okay. All right. Yay. I mean, I still get this. It's still plus one questing, so it's not the worst thing ever. Yep. I have nobody to bop in, though, is the problem. Yep. All right. Are you doing anything? Uh, no. Uh, I'm going to play, I guess, this. Outmatched. Okay. All right, you're done? Oh, uh, let me exhaust this dude to take resource off of him and put it on her. All right. We good? Quest. Yeah, I mean, that's everybody again. Yeah, unfortunately, I had nobody to cheat in. Yeah. Two cards. Uh, now, if I had played Thadwin by paying the resource cost, would I then... Discard her? Discard her and use my horn? I mean, I, I could pay less resources to use my horn. Or my I don't rod. think you can replace. Alright, it's not important. Alright, so we're up 15. So we're going after main again, I assume? Uh, yeah. I mean, we should probably do... Protect... The next turn. Because we're probably not going to clear this, right? Okay, so do you protect this turn? Next turn. Because so you're saying like don't do protect away. this turn. Do main this yeah, turn. Yeah, we'll be yeah, do main and then we'll do protect next turn. Well, shouldn't we do it the opposite way? Do protect and then we just clear main next turn? So then it's yeah. not three turns? Or are you assuming it's gonna be at least three turns? Uh there's five on this and we're only fifteen up. So there's no way we're getting ten on that. I assume it's gonna be three turns. All right, so stop the war party. We're going on. 
All right. Yeah. So E for encounter. One player chooses engages an enemy in the staging area to travel yeah. there. Now that is a force, so we have to do that, right? Yeah. So we can't go here if there are no enemies in play. Got it. You've lost your way in the vastness of Anor. Yeah. You must search around until you find the trail again. When revealed, each player places all cards in his hand face down underneath that. When lost is defeated, return each card underneath of it. So how do you do that? I just drag all my cards up. Uh, I'm just going to put them down here. You can put them in the bottom row here. Attached to each other. That way, oh, I guess I could drag mine up there with yours, because mine will all be attached yeah, to mine, and yours will all be attached to yours, right? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's yeah, fine. Just keep staging your bottom. Okay, all right, so that is our not hand hand. Are you flipping them face down? Yeah. All right. Uh, um, so request for cards. 12, so that's 5 and 7 again, right? Uh, so wait, wait, uh, he goes up by one. Who goes up by one? I earn because there's now another quest card. Wait, what? There's now another quest card, so he goes up. Oh, yeah, there's yeah. Four cards in play. All right. So, one more. Oh, I, I don't know what you're asking me to do. One more and one more. I gotcha. Yeah. Because his stats went up during quest. Gotcha. So we're to 25. And sh sh shadow cards. Oh, Matthew says, hey, Peter and Terrence. Hello, everyone. Hello, Matthew. Thanks for joining. Hello, Matthew. Um. So he, wait, what are we doing? Meant, oh, do we want... We're not traveling to any of these, are we? Uh, unless you want another encounter card for like an enemy or something. You think like we should... Eight. I mean, that's eight. No, eight. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that seems like a lot. All right. uh, shadow cards. Oh, yeah, yeah, we do have to deal shadow cards. So shift S. Yeah. Do another one. Why is outmatched up there? Uh, just because that's my attachment. So the next enemy engage falls into this trap. Oh, okay. That's fun. It's like, a, like the preparations. Uh, I'll draw my card. Okay. All right. So cool. shift X. All right, and then Shipping. ready up, draw. Yep. We have all of one recent one card. Open the armory. Yeah, dude, you can get more cards. I mean, it clears it from my deck. I guess that's the best part about it, right? Yeah, it thins your deck. Uh, so I'm gonna steward or steward. I'm gonna steward, but I'm just gonna use those two resources to draw a card. Okay. Ooh, Eomund. I don't have him in yeah, play, do I? No, he's super fun because like when he leaves play with Lothario, it just readies everyone except your Gondor. So should I just cheat him in then? Yeah. I mean, I don't you need like to ready though. Uh, although it lets me draw a card. But it, it shuffles it into card. my deck, right? I mean, I think I'd rather just have a permanent ally at this point, like for guaranteed questing. Right? Okay. Sure. I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to win here. Um. All right. I'm going to lose two resources to draw another card. Faint. I'm pretty happy with that. Um. So do we need to get rid of these blood tokens? Uh, I don't know what happens when we have them, so... It's like basically two turns, right? We do this turn, play quick, and we do one more turn, and then we're done. What's this? Oh, you put Entangled Nets out there? Yep. Oh, it just jobs up an enemy that comes in play? We don't yep. care about any other quest. We just want to get the blood off the main quest. Yep. Side okay. Quest. Yeah. All right. So that's what we're doing. We're questing that one? Yep. Wait. Did you take first player? Oh, I'm going to transfer a resource, too, with this dude. All 
Uh, and then everybody else is questing. Oops, I put him to questing, but we know he's not questing. He's just exhausted to move that resource. Okay, uh, so 15 progress? Yep. All right, so encounter cards. First one is orcs, so your thing does attach to them. Either discard one ally from play or reveal an additional encounter card. I can discard an ally. Easy. Okay. The rider. This jobber <laughs> that does zero questing and just transfers resources. I'm fine losing him. Okay. All right. And then the next one. Uh, do we cancel that? Doom 2. Do you have a something to cancel it? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't have mine because they're under that. Yeah, that's card. what I'm saying. We don't have anything to cancel it. No. Yeah. Yeah, search the encounter deck. For a side quest and reveal it, or choose a different quest card in play to be the current quest card until the end of the phase. I and why don't we, we just, just do that? Can we change it to the main quest and just win? We can. I mean, did you add your two? I did. So and you added my two? Yep. Okay. I mean, we do have turns. I mean, do we want to get our cards back? We could change the Lost in the Wilderness, I guess. Or we I could mean, just is there even another? Is is there even another side quest? I don't even know if there is. Yeah, uh, there is one. Do we want it? No. <laughs> so, do we want a Lost in the Wilderness orc ambush, or do we just want to win the game? We can just win if you want. Let's just win. I mean, winning seems good. I don't mind four. Four blood counters is fine. I have no idea what four blood counters do, but we'll find I out. I don't know either, because we may not even play the second part of this mission, right? Um, second part of this mission? There's like nine missions, dude. That's what I'm saying. We might not play the second one anytime soon. All right. So 25 uh, on the main, plus another 13 is way more than enough. All right, so how do we find out what happens at the end? Uh, well, you flip the this card. Okay, let's do it. Game. Resolution, note the amount of damage on Protect the Innocent in the campaign log and add Protect the Innocent to the campaign pool. I think it'll just start with four next turn, right? Maybe. Uh, so... I'll just put four blood counters. All right. I'm okay. afraid our work is not yet finished, my friends, said Iron, <laughs> gazing up into the distance. What is it again? Iron? I don't know. Iron. Yeah, said Iron, gazing up into the distance. There is to be a gathering of the Duodene at foremost in the. Oh, Fornost, in a few days to celebrate the autumnal equinox. I must go thither with news of their attack, for I fear it to be but a prelude of things to come, and the rangers must be ready for what follows. However, we cannot allow those orcs that fled to escape. There ain't no orcs that fled. We killed them all. Uh, or they this were... orc that we didn't kill. <laughs> Oh, that one traps. orc that's in a trap? Two, two, two orcs in traps. Yes, I, I, I think we're okay. Uh, however, we cannot allow those orcs that fled to escape, or they may return again in even greater numbers. Since I must go to Fornost, I ask you, will you track them in my stead? Uh, from the strained look in his eyes, the heroes could see... The, uh, how hard it was for the honorable ranger to burden them with this dangerous task. So they made him an oath that none of the orcs who had ventured so close to Bree would live to return again. Well said, said Iron. Then, it, then he raised his sword in salute and spoke. May the spirit of Orgnome guide you 
and uh, on your hunt. By the way, we forgot to increase this stat. Oh no, you didn't increase the stats. All right. Uh, we're we're hunting orcs. That's uh, that's what's happening next. Yes, this is a little bit uh, like um, like the end of the first Lord of the Rings movie, where like they kind of separated. And then breaking of the fellowship, breaking of the fellowship, and then you know they they chase after the orcs for a while. I feel like that's this quest here. We're like just running down orcs. Um, well, they attacked the Bree village, right? So, yeah, but yeah. So uh, that's the that's the first quest of uh, Angmar Awaken cycle. Yeah, no. Um, so hold on, let's go to final thoughts time. And before I do that, let me see if I can. So hold on, Windows capture. Let's copy that. Post stream. I'm gonna paste that in there. Matthew says I just came back from the Fornost. It wasn't that great. <laughs> what is the Fornost? Uh, isn't that the place that you're? You read about Fornost? No. Oh, is where, it supposed to be a forest where, where, or something? Am I missing? Uh, no, Fornost is a place uh, where the Dune Dane are gathering. And <laughs> uh, that's where he's leaving us. He's going there. Oh, so we're going to go hunt orcs, orcs and, and he's going to Fornost. Yeah. Got it. Yes. So I think Matthew was making a joke that he went to Fornost and it wasn't great. <laughs> yeah. He should have stayed with us. Yeah. All right, so final thoughts time. Uh, so you've played this quest before, obviously. Yeah, plenty of times, yeah. But you have not done it. Is it one of your favorites? So where would it rank in all 157 Lord of the Rings quests um, for you? Is it, I mean, just honestly, is it like middle, to top tier, it, it, bottom? It's not It's not top tier, um, but it's a good quest to test your deck i think obviously it, like turns some things off but like you obviously have to be able to quest well out of the gate um yeah. because if you let stuff and you know it's a bit swingy and solo uh but i think you have to be able to do it all right like it uh um you have to be able to quest uh and you have to be able to kill stuff right um but they do give you space a little bit to not have to take the orc war party but then you're dealing with threat right and they turn off like these outlying homesteads, they turn off um, your threat, you know, threat reduction unless you actually like clear them. So, uh, you know, they're, I think they throw like, it's not the best quest by any means, but I think like if you just have a deck that you're just like, let me see how it compares. It's not brutally hard, but I think it throws enough of a little bit of everything that you have to be able to deal with it as a group. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I mean, this is my first time playing it. I did enjoy it. It actually reminds me a little bit of the second quest in the main box. A little bit. Um, now, I do Cause like it, those... Because the, the engagement rules? Because the engagement rules end because you start with a big, huge threat sitting in the... You know, it was a hill troll there, but here it's a um, orc war party, right? But, I mean, it, it, it still feels similar. It's like a big thing you have to kill. Um to get through the quest and there's a lot you have to do a lot of questing early and yeah the optional engagement you can only engage one thing at a time like there's definitely some similarities there right um the side yeah. quests is what make this one unique um and it was it was interesting i'd never seen them before so were they introduced in this cycle yep they were introduced in this so cycle. this is the first time they were introduced yep and you see a lot of them right in this first mission, yeah. Now, do you see a lot of them throughout this whole campaign, or? Yeah, through this whole cycle, you're gonna. These are gonna come back. So, if you look at uh, the quest card, if you flip it back over, the main one. Yep. Um, you can do it, right, or no? It's, yeah, you can hit F. Um, so you see those little icons on the right, right, where it's yep. like the one in the circle. That's that's the icon for cards that are specific to this quest, and those three other little icons are. They're like the modular sets kind of in uh, yep. Marvel Champions, essentially, but you can't mix and match, right? I'm telling you which ones to pick. So you'll notice like these side quests that are out in play 
come from different sets. So like you're going to see them come back through the kind of cycle as different ones get mixed in through the different quests. Yeah, I have a feeling the Orc Ambush is going to be back. Yeah. Uh, I mean, tried and true favorite. Well, considering that they were hunting orcs, <laughs> like, <laughs> I feel like obviously yeah. that one's going to be you know like depending on when this comes out this can really you know like you imagine you're just not like in this one there isn't engagement right but imagine there is engagement right and you have enemies in staging and that orc ambush comes out like you might not have been planning to be able to deal with like three enemies coming down that turn or something right like right it can definitely like really swing some of them can be very oppressive uh not only do you have to deal with another enemy they all get boosted stats right like that that's rough yeah. And you can't clear it this turn. Like, you just have to eat it for one turn. So. Yeah. Uh, but thematically, it feels great, right? Like, it is, and it feels like you're being ambushed. <laughs> so, I, I think a mission accomplished there. Yep. No, I agree. Yeah, no, it was definitely fun. Um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the side quests. I'm looking forward to seeing what comes next. Um, now, if you were to play this, oh, so if we're playing it as a campaign, which we are. We have to stick with our decks. Is that the Lord of the Rings campaign model with the side? I don't know or? what the rules are actually for the campaign. Um, that is true. You do not have to stick with the deck. You have to stick with the heroes, I think. Okay. Uh, so you can swap out actually anything in your deck in between. Um, and then uh, this is at least from Saga. And then in Saga, actually, they have points where you can swap your like i think your heroes out i um, would change so they, out the shields honestly i would get rid of the shield because i don't think i'd need the shield and the armor right like we found that out it was kind of a duplication well i mean part of it is just like you want to draw into one of them and could I put uh, one of those on a Sentinel or are those heroes only? On what? Yeah, you could put your ancestral armor on that. Uh, so like first three three ally you got that yeah, has yeah. Sentinel. All right, so maybe I do want them both then. Uh, how about the shield? Uh, Not the shield. The shield is gone. Gondor is only. That's a, right. No, no, it's hero. So you can actually put that on me. Uh, I just don't get plus two. I only get plus one. Okay. So yeah, so Warden of the Helm's Deep is Sentinel, and it, it's any leadership character or anything that is noble, I believe, right? Oh, and those Sentinels have noble? No, they're leadership, I believe. Yeah, it's not Sentinel. It's, it's either leadership character, so those Sentinels are leadership, right? Three costs, leadership ally, or noble. So you could have actually played that on um, Gil Rayan. Oh, where's for Gil Rayan? My my ally my hero who had two damage on it. Oh. And that would that would give her another two defense and then two more hit points, right? So then she would not be on the brink of death. Oh, I should have done that. So um Well less you know, like, right? I had the four. Yeah. Yeah, it's like it's definitely like one of the things in Lord of the Rings is that playing attachments versus cha Marvel Champions is much more free. Like you just literally have to uh of, like abide by the ruling on the text so if it says hero it's really any hero at the table right so got it. it it makes some of the pickup games really interesting and fun because like maybe someone might play something on you that you never thought of or planned for you know like right. you didn't have space in your deck or it's not part of your sphere like you don't have access to that card and they can just play it on your character right yeah um, so that can be really fun cool all right terrence well i mean the one thing i'll I will say is this was a almost three hour game. Now, to be fair, we had a lot of technical difficulties early. So that was probably the first 20 minutes of it and maybe more, maybe 30 minutes. So that's two and a half hours. But then um, me learning how to do this and kind of explaining a lot early, I'm sure we could have gotten through it faster. Um, I think it's probably close to two. Yeah, but that's that's pretty long considering it's the first mission of a campaign, right? Like and it was a one stage mission as well. 
right? So yeah, but to, you know, to be fair, most most aren't thirty points, right? Like it's thirty because it's a single stage. Got it. That makes sense. That makes sense. Right. Like a lot of them are going to be like eight or twelve, or you know, like it's going to be in a three stage thing. You're gonna. It's probably going to be about a third of the value for each one, right? Got it. And a, and again, it'll probably be similar to champions, right? Where it's just like the first quest card might take the longest because maybe you're slow rolling, but I, I think in all well, the rings there, it maybe doesn't play out exactly that formulaic like it does in Marvel champions. Right. Where the first one's the easiest and shortest and then it progresses. Um, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it might ramp up. More. I do want to play more um, with you. So maybe uh, I'm going to be away all weekend, but maybe next week sometime Tuesday or Thursday we could play or we could do it Friday instead of Marvel. So just for those of you who do watch Marvel normally, I will not be around tomorrow. So um, we're not going to play again until next Friday. So we'll figure it out. You and I can talk about it uh, off air. But I, I did okay. have fun doing this. And you put together a good deck for me. I enjoyed what I was doing with this deck. You know me. I like Ally Swarm, um, which is good. And I, I, like the, I like the Rohan aspect of it where the allies left play. But this is way better than the Precon. Rohan deck for sure. Yeah, that was my concern when you're like, oh, let me just play the Rohan precon. I was just like, uh, I don't know if it will. Like, I, it might have gotten crushed actually here. I don't know. Like, I don't know if it would have been consistent enough to get online. It would have been very like right. card draw dependent, right? Um, so, as a question, um, this deck, uh, do you think it's good enough to? keep going into the campaign it probably is i mean I, I i have to look at i don't know i mean there's so many quests i don't know the, all the cards off the top of my head of like what's in the encounter deck and i guess theoretically i didn't have to keep questing with all of those characters like if i had a small amount of questing to do then i just save more characters to help me defend and attack with um, yeah exactly just right quest like with that one girl um, that one lady, Lothriel, and then Lothriel, yeah, or Lothriel, and she just pops some people in to help her with the questing, and then everybody else can help me with attacking and defending. And there's some decent yeah, I mean, attack I, in there too. Yeah, I, like like it, it kind of this deck is a good all arounder. Like I think you can take it in most quests in Lord of the Rings and probably do okay ish. Like, there is some ramp, but it's not a ton of ramp. Like, probably the slowest thing is getting some of those attachments out. Um, like, you just got to find them, right? Um, yeah, you want a steward, get... early, steward early, and you want uh, the horn early. Horn early, right? And then the other stuff, you can get them because, it, like, one of the things in this deck that helps make it consistent is, like, there is enough tutoring in the deck to kind of search your deck for stuff, right? Like, yeah. you have the horse breeders, and you have two or three of those in the deck, so... You can find Although the I still horse never you're got my for. Horse. How many copies of my horse are in the deck? I think there's two, but you have the horse breeders and you have decent card draw. Yeah. Yeah, it was just unlucky, um, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it happens, right? Like, you don't draw through your deck like a Marvel champion, so, like, consistency is really important. Um, yeah. And so, and then you have open the armories to get, like, armors and stuff, and then, you know, like, Rod also just helps you hard card draw, too, like, and you sit on a bunch of resources. Aaron Riders help you with smoothing. You have built-in smoothing. It's like it, it's a very, like it covers all the bases, right? You have a dedicated defender. You have a dedicated quester. You have a dedicated attacker. And yeah. they're all like good at what they're doing. And then your allies can help fill. Like you have a, a decent number. And you can swap allies too, I think like in between. Like, you know, you have a link. You can forth the deck. You can change it. So like there might be other allies you might want instead, depending on the quest, right? And so... Uh, like the West Folds I like because they're two cost and they give two willpower, right? Like that's good efficiency for like questing. Um, yeah. And then, and so, yeah, yeah. So the nice part about this is we can do menu, load, load yep. a quest. Yeah, you might want to clear. You can just do clear table. Lost Realms of Agmar. No, I'm just looking at what's next. So we did Intruders of Chetwood. The next thing is the Weather Hills. Yep. Um, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's eight, nine in the cycle nine in this cycle. Yeah. So there's three in the box and the six packs, 
for every okay. cycle for Lord of the Rings. Although, again, now it just all comes in one box. Yep. Um, so you get all nine in one box. Now, I don't think you could probably build these decks out of what would have currently been out at this point. No, I mean, I, I built them out of the entire card pool. Uh, so maybe that's a little unfair, but... I mean, I think Aylmer comes in the Rohan deck. Yep. Aylmer and Lothriel definitely come in that deck. And is Denethor... Does, with... Wasn't Lothriel in the Gondor deck, you said? Or is she in this deck? No, I think she was... Because she was with Aylmer. Okay, so, so, she's so in she was in the deck. Rohan deck. So those two come in the Rohan deck. And it was, Denethor is uh, definitely in the Gondor deck. So Denethor is also in there. So honestly... The, the real things you did differently were you put in Faint, you put in a Test of Wills, but both of those are core set. So actually, most of the deck you built here, I mean, look, the, the horse breeders were definitely there as well. Now, I don't know if you have Aylmer's Steed. I don't remember ever seeing him. So, Firefoot, Firefoot, I don't remember what cycle he's, it's in, but it's like pretty, it's like in the cycle he came out in, right? Um, Heirs of Numenor, I guess. Right, but the problem is you can't get that now. Yeah, you can't buy it. Right. So that's that's one of the interesting things about where we're at right now. With uh, Because they're not releasing all the sets, you can't buy yeah, it. Yeah, honestly, it's, it's like I was telling you. Like, I am sad about that. Like, there are so many great cards in the card pool, and they are spread. You know, like, even if the quests didn't hit the high for that cycle for a lot of people, like, they always make great cards, you know, like in the cycle, uh, even if not all of them are. And it just sucks that like there are certain things you can't build now, you know, that. Do you think they will uh, eventually go through and even if they don't re-release all the chapters, maybe they re-release all the player cards? I mean, I hope so, but. That, eventually, I, you know what I mean? They, uh, I, I hope they do, but I just don't. They've said they aren't reprinting everything, so. You know, I, I don't really know. Um, I don't even think I have Genos, you know, to be fair. So yeah. they could do a booster deck too. Like they've got the, the Gondor decks, but maybe they have the Gondor booster and they have the yeah. Rohan booster. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I mean, I think it's just unfortunate because I, I think if you, if you really love this game and you get bitten by the first, say, like X number of repackages they've done, you're going to want it all eventually, right? Like, and I, and I get that that is a small percentage of people, but like, I think, I, I think, I don't you, know that I, think I would. Will. I think there's so much in this just already with what they're releasing. I think there's a lot. I don't, let's put it this way. Yes. People get FOMO, right? And yes. I, I, some I just think if you're playing it for f five years or something, there's at some point, like if you bought five years worth in, like, you probably will buy the other four years worth of content, right? Like, it, I, I think if you're done after three years or something, then you probably aren't going to continue to buying the other repackaged stuff, right? But if they went and repackaged all nine years of the game, like, if you were like five, six, seven years like of that thing, you're going to buy the rest of it, right? Yeah, most likely. Well, like, I think there's a certain like cliff where it's just like, if you're that much in, like and you love the game, you're continuing to buy it, like, you're going to continue buying it, right? Sure. And if you aren't, then you probably would have fallen off already, right? Like, I Well, think I, I am glad, though, that they are re-releasing it in a better format for people. I, I, I truly Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to disagree with that. A better way for people to get in. And honestly, people who have bought all in are already all in. You know what I mean? So this is, like, the second wave of people getting in. And who knows how they redo it? You know what I mean? Like, trust and faith, if people buy the stuff, they're going to keep printing stuff, right? And yeah, that's, like that's my hope is that it sells well. When it stops well. selling, then they're not going to print any more expansions. Like you said, you don't know what they're going to do in the future because they don't know what they're going to do in the future because it really all is based on how well things sell. Yeah, what's what's interesting about even that statement is that uh, I've heard uh, through the grapevine and other folks who have talked uh, with folks at FG and Asmodee that like Lord of the Rings is one of their is not their best selling game by any stretch, but it's 
since launch has been one of the most consistently sell like selling games that they've had like well it is obviously because they haven't killed it yet right <laughs> I mean, yeah like it hasn't dipped and it's clearly like been successful and obviously during the pandemic was even more successful like every other yeah. solo co-op thing out there right and but like it it continues to sell well well enough for them to want to do this thing right um but i i hope for people who do want it that it becomes available and they don't have to chase stuff on the black the like secondhand used market because that's always an awful experience right Right. And that's, and, and the other thing is it doesn't support the publisher anymore, you know? Yeah. So again, we're all for supporting the designers of the game, supporting the publisher of the game. Look, some people don't like, you know, big, whatever, big companies, things like that. But you have to remember there are people behind this, you know, this is Fantasy Flight, which isn't nearly the powerhouse it used to be, right? Fantasy Flight, when you think about it, they originally released Star Wars X-Wing. They released all these games but now they're just the LCGs for the most part and like a couple of board games a year, but I can't remember the last time they had a real hit. Um, even the remake of Battlestar Galactica, you know, I don't... Unfathomable? Unfathomable. I don't think that did nearly what they thought it was going to do. Um, I, I think Outer Rim has actually sold decently well. Well, Outer Rim... People they, seem to really like it. Well, now that they finally came up with an expansion, but how long did that take? That was years. Yeah, I, I even think outside of the expansion, people did enjoy it, but they obviously wanted the expansion. Yeah, I think people just wanted more. But, I mean, their Descent game, uh, I mean, obviously did well it, enough it, because they're coming up with a, an expansion for it. But, I mean, I can't imagine it's going to do well. The way they've packaged it, it's like another 100 plus bucks for this expansion. And you have to have completed the base game to access any of the content from the expansion from what i'm understanding so yeah i can't imagine that's going to make them a bazillion dollars right <laughs> like so fantasy flight's really all about marvel and these other living card games i mean arkham's the one i've fallen off of 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 all the ones that are out there well you know it's it, it's it's the it isn't getting any new content this year which is like Arkham I think really surprising. Yeah. The big thing with Arkham for me is if we never played Lord of the Rings again, I had fun playing this mission and it felt like a complete like I did something. Arkham is really all about the story, and when you make it all about the story and then like all your campaigns are like eight missions or whatever, you it's like a commitment, you know? Um and so that's the hardest part for Arkham for me. It's not that I don't enjoy the gameplay. I definitely do. It's just... Fantastic game, for sure. I, um, I, I don't... At this point, I don't foresee myself committing to an entire campaign anytime soon. Yeah, I, I, there are standalone things um, outside the campaigns, even, that aren't, like, just play this mission standalone. Uh, there's, like, the hotel, and, and they're pretty good. Um but yeah, I mean, I, I think one of the challenges for me as an LCG player is that it is the campaign that makes it rough. Like, you know me, I, I love to build decks and it's actually the most unfriendly because unlike you, I don't, I like to change up my deck. I like to play around with decks and stuff. And it by design doesn't want you to do that, right? Like you're well, kind of stuck with the deck that you brought for eight yeah. missions minus like small tweaks between each one, right? Well, and it'll be interesting. I mean, like, how much can we change these decks, right? Like, I, 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 I kind of like the constraints. Out a bunch of the cards, yeah. right? Except the heroes. That, that's a good amount, right? Well, here it's much more so than Marvel Champions, right? Because you're of your 40 card deck, which this is a 50 card deck, of the 40 card decks over there, 15 of them are just locked in. And if you're not me, three more are locked in because you're double resources. Um, I just keep forgetting to put them in my decks lately <laughs> for whatever reason. Um, so, I mean, really 18, which is almost half of your deck is locked in for Marvel champions with just your hero and those three resource cards, you know? So I, I think yep. there's just less deck building opportunity there, which is great for people who don't want to deck build and awful for people who, like you who like 
that is one of their favorite things. Um, I mean, it's still great, but it's like uh, Nelson was saying on Tuesday, right? Uh, the I think the kind of stuff you can build in Lord of the Rings is just pr- much more open in kind of the space that you have to kind of do things, right? Um, uh because you can really pick three different heroes that have different abilities and and do things right um like i don't think this is the hero lineup that is in the pre-constructed deck but it's still mostly a rohan deck right yeah. i built a rohan deck that again like shares a good amount of cards right that the other deck that you were playing with but you know it, it does feel different and you know, like it, it is a different deck, right? And yeah, yeah. even just swapping out of the heroes and like just swapping out a single hero could be a different set of aspect cards, right? Like this is a tri sphere deck, right? Well, like and that I was the up... funny thing. That's what I was gonna do if I had played that Rohan deck. I would have sw- swapped out the, the one hero for the one you added in, you know, because uh, Denethor, Denethor was the also ran hero he was the one that was left out of that now, are you sure he wasn't in i'm pretty sure he was in the gondor pack Denethor? he has nothing to do with Ro- yeah he has nothing to do with rohan he's a oh, gondor you're right hero. you're right you were gonna swap him in with faster i think that's faster it's the hero they leave out got it uh yeah so denethor the nice part is he you know you get resource sharing yeah, like the resource smoothing is huge, actually. That really allows you to do tri right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, he's definitely, like, one of my favorite. Like, well, he also you allows steward you on put... turn one. Steward turn one without having another leadership hero. You get resource smoothing, and he's a dedicated defender. So you get those three things for that single hero. That's, like, super high value. Yeah. And he's only eight threat. Eight starting threat. Like, yeah. it's amazing. Yeah, well, for, for a three defense character, it's really good, and the resource is moving. But again, you need to draw. But yeah, so that's the other things I wouldn't have had access to. I wouldn't have had access to Steward of Gondor, um, which is a big deal, you know, because Steward's a very good card. <laughs> Two free resources a turn, in addition to the one you normally get, is huge. Um, now, Steward of Gondor... I guess the one thing about it is it becomes worse at higher player count games because only one player gets it. Yep. Um, now Matthew Rose has a bunch of comments. I think we'll respond to those and then um, call it a night because it's pretty late. Uh, so Matthew Rose says, thanks for doing this. Also, Terrence is making the deck like a brutal magic, the gathering modern deck. I don't know so modern do you know do you know anything about magic terms uh i do um i forget what match that in mo- what modern format oh uh i think modern's like um you well, don't you don't like rotate the you like don't rotate cards out necessarily oh okay well, he says, I like the cycling through your deck that you're doing. Maybe that's what he's talking about. Uh, okay. Like modern, because it gives you cycling, it gets you free resources, it gets you a lot of a lot of stuff, which I like. I liked all of that. Uh, Matthew says, Fantasy Flight should try going back to Dungeon Crawls, like Descent 2nd Edition, not 3rd. I totally agree with you. Um, Descent 2nd I mean, was... People love that. Uh, I mean, both that and Imperial Assault, right? Like, that was yeah. a well-loved kind of system. And they tried to do co-op with the app, and it was actually decent. I think they went too far with the Imperial Assault app, like, as far as, like, complication goes. But the Descent app was actually really good. Um, and I think that's what led them to this new Legends in the Dark system. It's just, it wasn't as good. It wasn't as well implemented. Uh, at least in my opinion. Um, so Matthew also says, I already have a giant box for Act 1, Descent 3rd Edition, and now I'm going to have to pay for another giant box that I won't be able to get 
uh, to if it requires the completion of the first game. That was my understanding. Now, I did hear that from the Dice Tower, and things may have changed since they announced it and said that. I didn't I, actually I think, hear the fantasy. I think it's a sequel, though, right? So, like, the idea is it's a continuation of the story. Right, which means you have to complete the first one. That's the problem. Yeah, but I don't think you have to own it, right? Like, it is... Like, if you played and sold your copy or you played with someone else, like... I mean, I think technically you can play it without it. You'll just be missing a huge gap. In the no, I mean, because it's not standalone. I can't imagine it's standalone. Oh, it's not? Like, how could it be standalone and you had to have completed the first one? Those two Well, things... standalone in the sense that standalone, like, in in components. Like, I don't need stuff from the first one. It could be a standalone. Yeah, I but, don't like, know. But, like, story-wise, it's not standalone. You know, like, maybe I watch a YouTube or something. I don't know. Yeah. Or I maybe know. I need a save file. Like, I don't know. I hope it doesn't need the save file because people probably lost that. You know, well, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, cha- yeah. A changed advice. It's gone. I mean, because that's Fantasy Flight's biggest issue in my mind is not letting you like their apps aren't like they're great at a lot of things, but they're not great at everything. And the big thing they don't do is let you like add players in the middle of a campaign or save halfway through a mission or like go back. Like, there's simple features that, like, most apps nowadays have, and for whatever reason, they don't do it. Like, I've played the first four or five missions of uh, the Lord of the Rings one, Journeys of Middle-Earth, like, five yeah. times. But if I want to play the game again, I basically have to start over again, because I don't have my save files anymore. You know what I mean? Uh, as you were yeah. just saying. So it's like I can't yeah, I, I, just skip those missions. It, this is something like one of my biggest complaints of Journeys is that it is stuck and it's rooted in its campaign. Yeah. Um, because I actually really enjoy that game. Uh, yeah, the gameplay is great. And I have expansions for it. But yeah, I own it all. Yeah. So, I mean, you clearly a Lord of the Rings fan, I see, Terrence. <laughs> I don't have War of the Ring. Or the Rings, other. Jerry's favorite game, by the way. No, but you're not a competitive gamer. Um, they're they're adding that solo co-op mode to War of the Ring, the card game. Yes, and we are getting that, so we will be reviewing that uh, eventually on the main channel. Um, some potential interest in that, but uh, we'll see. I did enjoy that game. We can bring it at Gen Con if you want. Um, it is best at four players right now. Oh, is it? Two? Is it two v two? 2v2 is the best way to play it because I haven't played it two players, but you could just tell it is clearly a four player game. You know what I mean? When you play it, you could tell. Um, But yeah, if you would like to play it, I've only played it once. We've only played it once, but I think we really enjoyed it. I don't know if Mike will play again because it's probably. I mean, I've heard, I I heard it's been well received, the card game. Like, it's good. It's for sure good. like if you like War of the Ring and you want it in card game form, like they definitely did a good job as well. No, that I will disagree with. It feels like a card game where you're fighting over. It feel it felt like kind of like Smash Up to me, where you're like fighting over territories, control points, whatever, or um, even Marvel Snap, that kind of thing, where you know Smash Up, Marvel Snap, Blood Bowl Team Manager, like all of these like fighting over central points there was a lot more to it than any of those games and it was longer and it was more back and forth um but that was the feel i got at least a little bit from it i had not played the card game or the game this is just what i'm reading on the internet so <laughs> i'm not a person of basing this on my personal experience i think you would like the board game because it's a lot of dice play and card play, but not dice play like you roll to hit and resolve or whatever. There is that as well. But I, I think you would love it as much as you love Lord of the Rings. Like it feels a lot like Lord of the Rings. You and Jerry should play that because it's his favorite game. Um, I, you know, I'm actually not the biggest. Lord, I'm not the biggest Lord of the Rings fan. Okay. Uh, I came to Lord of the Rings, the card game context history wise because of the game. I wanted solo co-op magic. And back in 2013, there was no other options. Like, this this was it, right? Like, if that's what you wanted, 
there was really nothing else. And that's why I got into the game. And then the game is what got me more into the IP, basically, because you're surrounded by a bunch of people that are way more into it and know all these things. And you're seeing all the cards and stuff. And you're just like, who is that person? What is that? Right? Like, yeah. I think it's similar with like Marvel, right? Like, I am there for. I mean, as much as I like Spider-Man and other stuff, and I definitely like know of things. Some are like in Lord of the Rings. I know who Aragorn is. <laughs> right. You know, I know who Sam and Bilbo and those characters are. But like, like, you know, like I had saw that Gil Rain hero and I, you know, I, I'm like, I have no idea who this is. <laughs> like I had to Google yeah. it. And that happens all the time. And then sometimes we'll be like, oh, Fancy Flight made this character up. They're not real. <laughs> you know? Right. It's like. Well, Denethor, wasn't that um, Boromir's father? Yeah. Yeah, he's he's the so he's yeah. kind of a jerk. He's the, by the way, <laughs> yeah, he's the steward of Gondor. <laughs> yeah, he's kind so of like a jerk. like the kind of, the kind of like house rule. Generally, when we play Lord of the Rings, that I've seen is like if a bunch of people have steward and someone brings Denethor, they have first dibs at steward. That makes sense. It's like the, the the actual steward of Gondor, right? So yeah, yeah. makes sense. All right, Terrence, I'm going to call it. Um, Matthew Rose's last comment was, uh, I'll be at Gen Con. I look forward to meeting both of you. And yes, we will be doing some kind of a meetup there. Um, we were talking about doing an escape room again. I think uh, Mike was anti that, but we might have talked him into it. I know we've done that in the past. We did an escape room because co-op players like stuff like escape rooms, right? Um, so we'll see. Maybe we end up doing an escape room while we're there, or maybe we just you know, say, Hey, we're going to be here every night. Um, come meet up with us. If you want to play some games. Um, I'm assuming you're going to bring some Lord of the Rings stuff. Uh, yeah. I mean, we're doing the Gen Con quest, uh, or not Gen Con quest, the dreadnought. Yep. Um, are you posting, I guess when we're doing various events, if people want to come join us, uh, I could do that. Um, I mean, Gen Con is still a ways away, so we'll see. I mean, we're just doing three events, right? Yeah, I, I'm doing, I know, I'm doing the Arkham, I'm, I'm doing Marvel, and I'm doing the Lord of the Rings one. Yeah, um, so we can post your schedule, and I am with you for the Lord of the Rings stuff and for the Marvel stuff, so. Um, yeah, I I'm might not... sign up for a Dream Chaser thing, we'll see. Yeah. I'll just play with more people. Cool. All right, Terrence. Good night, Matthew, um, to... Scrolling back to Kate. Thank you so much for all your patience. Uh, Junie. Uh, Michael Newsom. Yeah. Matthew. Yep. And everybody else who was chatting in. Uh, thank you so much. We appreciate you uh, showing up. And that's why we keep doing it. So uh, thank you. And we will see you soon. All right. Bye. Bye.